what's up? I say, what's up? I say, what's up? Man, sit your ass down. I ain't got time for Richard Roundtree over there. <laughs> Like Jim Kelly over there. <laughs> Put your feet up, grab your glass, and be prepared. You're now tuned into the TOL Radio, TOL Radio Show. 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 Right here on Cheese Town Radio RMB. What up, what up, what up? This your boy DJ Red Carpet Capo. Norfolk CPA is in the building. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lady Latte in the building. Hey, I'm kind of upset right now, y'all. Why you mad? Tell well, before all, mad, that, before all of that, before all of that. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it already. I'm sick of it already. Do you have your already. drink? Started the show yet. Do you have your drink? Yeah, I got my drink okay, right Okay, sip here. your drink. Calm down. Relax, relate, release. I'm still sick of it. Eat the Kit Kat that's right there on the table. I did what? Eat the Kit Kat that's right there on the table. No, no, this is the wrong one. This is the wrong one. I need a snicker. Oh, yeah, to change your attitude. (laughs) (laughs) I'll take it. Look, you told me Kit Kat's was your favorite. No, Kit Kat's is my favorite, and I'm going to tear this Kit Kat up. But at the same time, I'm not myself right now. So when you're not yourself, you need a a snicker. So those of you... Those of you who don't know, um, whenever you hear the word sicker, you're supposed to take a shot with Capo. So right now he's not feeling well, y'all. So y'all got to take one to the head with him. Are you drinking water? Yes. Why is that? Are you breastfeeding? <laughs> no, I'm not breastfeeding. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of the health professionals that I know tell me, Clarence, you got to drink more water. Clarence, you got to drink more water. Clarence, you got to drink more liquor. Clarence, you have to drink more water. <laughs> you have to drink more yeah, liquor. Yeah. Somebody has to drink with Capo, and I'm breastfeeding. So and I heard it helps with weight loss, I heard it helps with weight loss, too. you drinking at the Mary J. Blige concert? I mean, I the, um, the Janet Jackson concert? I was, and then when I went home, and I pumped my breast, and I had to pour out eight ounces of milk <laughs> in the, down the sink. Ooh. <laughs> I said, remind myself, nope, don't drink. Oh, What's Lord, the she contaminated the baby. <laughs> yeah, you got to pour it out. You were trying to. You got to pump two to three hours after you drink, and then you got to pour that out. Really? And then, yeah, then you got to wait for yourself to produce more milk. And the only reason why I'm drinking now is because I'm supplementing, so I'm not his only food source anymore. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, so before, I never would have poured it out. Yeah, I don't know how long it takes to pump out eight ounces of milk believe it or not i'm not one that lactates easily as they say so every bottle counts for me every pump counts. i'm upset because why you mad everything huh? i don't know what is i don't know what's going on but things just won't let me be great today like i was trying great. i was trying to you know do the facebook live thing but you know i think i honestly think facebook has something personally against me Personal because last night you know facebook owns instagram right they've merged now or they bought instagram right. or something i don't know all i know is mark zuckerberg owns has something to do with instagram oh. so last night while we was at music lab i was trying to go live on instagram and like every time i would play a song it would just instantly uh, kill my video oh wow so even when I post videos, like I when I post videos on on Facebook, it has to be no music, nothing in the background. So nothing. is that a royalties type? Thing? I don't like know. And then like music? I tried to I tried to log on to the live for the show today on um on Facebook and it won't even let me do that. So I don't know what's going on, but we still recording the show. We still doing it. And all and you gotta do down. all you gotta do is go to our YouTube page. You will be able to see um the show live or well not live after we finish the video will be uploaded to our youtube channel which is cheese town radio that's two words 
that is two words. Go look us up on YouTube so you can see our beautiful visuals. Yes. And hear what we're talking about. But of course, you can tune in each and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. On www.cheesetownradio.com. I mean, she's not radio. R and B. That online. I'm sorry. There is no R and B in the YouTube, but R and B in the website. Right. But I'm super. Okay, but other than being sick of that, I'm super excited, CJ. What's going on? Because for one, I spent some time in Charlotte this weekend. Okay. Well, what went down in Charlotte? I DJed an event uh, in Charlotte. This um 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 um, um apartment community. I guess that's what you would call it. Had a um, event. It was like a community event. Okay. And they hired me to come down okay. and be the oh, DJ, man. huh? Oh, <laughs> For that's open. what I was thinking too. Because you said apartment, apartment community. community. That sounds like, like senior it was living. Some type of, right, yeah, right. but it was like a combination of them and it was like some type. Of, I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. I'm just. It was saying. some type of gated community. I don't know, but it was real dope. Okay. okay. And um. So they had a little. Yeah, they had all types of food. It was it was it was dope. Oh man. I spent some time in, in Charlotte. They want me back. Okay. The old lady told me she was gonna Google me. What? She know how to Google. One old lady said one old Google. lady told my aunt she had fifty dollars. All she need was five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you were out there getting pimped? <laughs> I don't know what was going on, but the lady said, though. "Bro, the lady said she had fifty dollars and all she needed was five minutes." Mm. So I don't know yeah. what she was gonna do in those five minutes. I mean, did you find out? Hell no. <laughs> no. I mean, that's an extra fifty. That's gas money. I'm being. I'm, I, they are, they paid for my gas. That's the extra meal. They paid for my gas and my I hotel. I thought all men wanted to be secretly want to be gigolos. Y'all do it for free. Not anyway. for no. Not for no. Why not get fifty dollars? Not for no old lady. What? Yeah. The older the berry, the sweeter the the syrup, and then turn into syrup, and they need juice no more. That didn't need. need, need <laughs> that, I'm good. That is right, not right. attractive. No, not at all. She got that dry, dry. I, I don't wow. Know. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, but okay. But <laughs> you got lose. I mean, you, I got to shout out some out. people. Wait, I got to shout out to shout out some people. So after okay. the event, the event was uh, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Got it. And after that, I stayed in the um, I was I stayed in the Renaissance. What is it called? Renaissance Hotel. Yeah, it was. I feel how the, yeah, the Renaissance Hotel, Renaissance yeah. Renaissance Charlotte Suites. Cause they have a Renaissance in Portsmouth. The Renaissance, the but this place this place was like seven floors, and I was on the seventh floor. I felt like a celebrity. They had a little okay. they had okay. a little bar downstairs. Did they, they had give you the free breakfast. drinks? They had free drinks. I had to pay for the drinks. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because after I left the, uh, the event, I went back to the hotel. And I went back to the hotel and hung out at the bar in the okay. hotel. And one thing I like about people in Carolina, they are friendly, yo. Like, it ain't nothing like here. Like, if you're sitting at the bar, like, they, everybody at the bar was buying each other drinks, right. talking, you know what I'm saying, black, white, Asian, whatever. Well, I heard the, the farther... The further you go up north, mm -hmm. the more distant people are. Right. But in the further social. colder they they're are. They're less social. And right. The further right. down south you get, the more friendly they are. So friendly. The hospitality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Except for when you go across the Mason Dixon lines and stuff, you know, if you hang them. A darker complexion, you know, you get right. a little nervous. And I don't mean to stereotype y'all. If y'all tuning in and y'all from down, down south, like South Carolina down, Mississippi, some parts of Georgia, mm -hmm. I just get a little nervous when I'm in those areas. I've driven through Mississippi and got a little, just didn't feel right, a little eerie feeling like. Mm. But anyway. I'm sorry. There's a couple people I want to shout out because they said they was going to make sure they tune in and listen to the show. Because okay. I was telling them about y'all. I was talking about how, how funny and dope y'all were. And they was like, I got to check them out. I got to check them out. So they're probably tuning in. Shout out to Miss Kelly. Hey, Kelly girl. What's up, Miss Kelly? Shout out to Mike. Mike. Be Mike. And uh, Miss Deborah. Shout out to Miss Deborah. Hey, Miss Deborah. Miss Deborah sounds Deborah. like. No, I call her. I was play with her. Like, no, mm -hmm. she's young. Miss Deborah, she's. she's 27. And her but, name Deborah? That's yeah. her grandma name. Her name is Deborah, but I I kept She named after her grandma. I kept messing with her and calling her Miss Deborah because she was acting like everybody's mom. She's how old? <laughs> right, right. 
27. Oh, what? shit, her name, first of all, I gotta call her Debbie. <laughs> I can't call her Deborah. Because Deborah is her grandma. Her name is Debbie. Mm-mm-mm. Nobody. So she was she was running Debbie. around acting like everybody mom monitoring their drinks. Yeah. Because she was oh, wow. born as a grown up. What her mama named her Deborah. So they said they was gonna tune in. So shout out y'all. They held me hey, down. Debbie. We had so much fun. And I have I had don't get me wrong, I had fun at the event, but I had a ball in the hotel, you know what I'm saying? The the the, the, the bar at the hotel. Okay. So and when then, you going back. Hold on, then to add to that, I forgot their name, y'all. The the what's their name? I forgot their name, but uh, it was a wedding reception inside the hotel. Okay. Somebody was getting married, and I went to that. Congratulations. We went to the wedding reception inside the hotel. Let's okay. get married. So, shout out to the people in Charlotte. Shout um, out Charlotte. But. Charlotte be lit. It just takes so long to drive there. I hate No, driving. guess what, though? I left. That's an eight-hour drive. I got there. From VA. We in VA, y'all. I was supposed to leave Southern Flair and drive straight there. But mm-hmm. my sister told me that um, Super dead. my room wouldn't be available. I wouldn't be able to check in until like 12, 1 o'clock. Yeah, you can't check in until after midnight. Hotels is the most conniving, manipulative people. They will not let you check in until after midnight or they're going to charge you for the extra day. Yeah. That's well, no, no, no. In the morning. At 12 in the afternoon. I'm sorry. Afternoon. You can only check in between 12 and 3 in the afternoon. Right. Because they don't want you coming in the night before because they would rather charge you for an extra day. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. Man. All of them are yeah, like that. Oh, absolutely. So I ended up, hustle. I ended up leaving 7 o'clock the next morning, Saturday morning. And I got there right at 12 and I sat in traffic because they doing construction. And I sat in that construction for an hour, bro. Like, just moving, like, inch by inch by inch. I'm just a non-long-term driver. But, like, I am the worst trip um, companion. Hmm. I will say that. So, Capo, get ready. If we go on trips, <clears> latte, sleep. driving, dead. But check dead. this out, though, I don't, CJ. Yes, I want to go to sleep. Cars instantly make me sleepy. So, shout out to uh, Miss Tasha. She um, texted me and was like, would you I like to see... It. Would you like to see Janet Jackson tonight? And I was like, hell yeah. Right, right. So I got on the road at 9 o'clock. I got on the road at 9 o'clock, and I got home at 2. Okay. So I got home faster than I got. Then I went. Because you were excited to see Janet. And I I went and saw Janet. Oh, my God. I saw Janet, too. Oh, my God. I was there, too. That's why I had to drink for the first time since I had my baby, because I had to drink to Janet, because she is so... Awesome, man. That woman do not look like she in her fifties, man. And she just had she a baby. In her early fifties or late fifties? She's like probably like 52, 53. Fi- right. Okay. She don't early. look like it. She don't move like but it. But she looks younger than me. Yeah, I said it. I, I accept where I'm at. Um, she looks <laughs> younger than me. Does she? And her mm-hmm. body is like that. Now, mind you, yes, yeah, she probably got cooks and chefs and um, personal trainers and. Probably had a nip or tuck here or there, but you can't hide that age on the face too right. much. And right. her face still looks young. And when I say now, couple correct me if I'm wrong. She came on the stage at eight forty five, right? right? Mm-hmm. That lady danced from eight forty five to like eleven thirty. Exactly, nonstop. And well, she, she stopped. Stop. She had wardrobe changes, mm-hmm. but but the changes weren't longer than five minutes. Right. Okay. And commits to her for having a big girl on her dance squad. That was killing it. Yeah, big, and, and when I say it. big girl, she was probably a little bit larger than me. She was at least a, a size fourteen and up, probably somewhere between the fourteen and sixteen. But what got what killed people was that she was doing it. Just yeah, she was doing it. She was doing it. Good her as thing. the skinny girls, and I liked it because you know Janet. These stars they pick hand pick their dancers, and she was a front line dancer. She wasn't somebody in the back. She wasn't okay. somebody they were trying to hide. She was like. Boom, look at me. Here I am, and I can keep up with these skinny peaches, too. Skinny beaches. You know, I, I'm, you know, I'm trying to hold back the cursing and stuff. I'm trying to do better with my life and stuff since I seen you Janet. Can, you can I say, just didn't want to say bitches, but no, the skinny bitch. You can say bish. Bish. She was holding it down with the skinny bitches. <laughs> okay? And I was proud of her, and I said she might be big, but that ass is in shape. Because mm-hmm, there's thing. no way you could do that and not be in shape. Okay. Because I've been skinny and still can't run around the block. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. 
So I saw Janet. I thought she was awesome. Um, I like the dedication she did to her dad. Because, um, you know, her dad died a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Right. Months ago. A couple of weeks ago. And then, of course, she did the song that she had with Missy Elliott. Um, I felt like that was intentional because Missy's from here. But I like seeing somebody from here, even if it was a hologram. Oh, okay. So Missy wasn't there. No, she wasn't there. Um, and she did a thing to Michael. Hold oh, she- no, on. I don't remember hearing the Missy. Yeah, me? you ain't seen her. She had a big, she was dancing. She did a hologram Missy was, of Missy. It was like, you know how you have the big screens up. It was like right. a yeah, whole 10 minute set of Missy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I, it looked like a hologram to me. But it was probably a video and the way they put effects on it. Okay. Because J. Cole looked like a hologram to me, too. The person that was with me was drinking red wine, and I don't drink red wine. Well, but, some, you got to drink sweet red. But, but this is what I just, I learned about wine, yo. Mm-hmm. Like, some wines you, because I, I had, I got to have my drinks cold. But when you're drinking red wine, you got to drink it at room temperature. Mm-hmm. What is that? I don't know. It makes, it makes the fa- flavor fuller. Okay. And it um, and it fucks you up, bro. Oh, wine can sneak up on you. <laughs> the thing I like about getting twisted on wine is it doesn't give you a hangover usually. Right. And it doesn't make you throw up like liquor does. Mm. Right. So I uh, shout out to wine. If you don't like wet wine, wet red wine, try a red wine split. split I think it's a splitzer. You mix it with spritzer. Sprite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's good. Try that first and to get you used to it and then you'll be able to drink it by itself. Yeah, but that was good though. That was that was decent. Shout out to DJ Active, um, Janet Jackson's um tour DJ. Yo, he really inspired me. Like I I wanna be a tour DJ now. He was rocking it. DJ like, was doing a thing. He uh he opened the show and then he did the um the intermission when she was changing the yeah. little fifteen minute. That was dope. He he did his thing. You know what? I had a good DJ today. I went to um, Soul Circus. Mm-hmm. And they had an awesome DJ. We was in there jamming. I was in there dancing with my kids because I took my kids from work. Mm-hmm. It was turned. Turned yeah. in the Soul Circus. Wow. What would you think about the circus? You know what's weird? I have a funny feeling about it. It's like I enjoy myself, but I feel guilty for enjoying myself. Cause, and let me tell you why. why. Because... The, the acts were wonderful, first and foremost. The act was, acts were wonderful, and it had people of all races. I like the diversity. Um, but the animals, I always wonder in the back of my mind, are they abusing the animals? Hmm. They never look really happy. I don't know. The elephant looked kind of depressed today. Now, I don't know. Could have just been an old elephant. But, well. And I don't know what a happy elephant looks like. I can't really explain it. But you always wonder in the back of your mind, are they abusing them and stuff? And I was surprised I didn't see Peter out there because usually Peter is out there protesting, mm-hmm. but they weren't out really? there. No, they weren't out there. But, you know, they had the elephants, the zebras, camels, and a couple of other animals. They even had dogs doing tricks, which, which was really cool. But I always wonder, I always feel guilty going to the circus every time I go for, well, some, for whatever reason. The animals are out of their element. Yeah, it's unnatural. Right. Even if they are treating them well, it's like they're not in their habitat. And then some of them be looking like, let me go do the routine for these crazy people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. I just, I don't know. And maybe I'm, sen- and I'm not even an animal lover and I'm sensitive. So, yeah, because I still would rock a fur coat. Is that wrong to say wow. that? Oh, wow. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, survival of the fittest. I mean, I'm Fact. saying. That was. <laughs> I would try a a, a a fake fur coat. I would rock that. How about that? A okay. nice fake one, so animals don't have to die. But I always wonder in the back of my. I don't like any creature to be mistreated. Right. Not just on a human level. So when I go to the circus, I feel guilty. I'm still hot about us not being able to stream live on Facebook. So you know what I'm gonna do? Yes, Copper. What, what are you, are you gonna, gonna do? do? Tonight, I'm gonna set it up to where we can stream live from our website. Okay. And you I like made, when things and you, piss you off because it usually takes us to a next level. Yeah, we're gonna be you gonna we wanna stream live on our on, on our um own platform on our website. And I'm I will set it up to where you made the comment and everything. What y'all think about that? I think cool. it's dope. Sounds cool. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm I'm sick of it. Sick. sick of it. Remember every time you hear the term sick of it, take a drink. Sip sip. Okay, he got it. His Why are you not out. drinking, CJ? I still haven't gotten off that. 
He gonna do enough drinking on Saturday. Who yeah. is your birthday? Yeah. Shout out to Chevy. It was her birthday last oh week. Oh my season. gracious! I wish she was here right now for us to talk about it. I want to. We I'm, gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. We'll wait till she comes. Hopefully she's on the way. Hopefully. But your birthday's coming up Saturday. Let everybody know where it's at. What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? It is going down. Norfolk CPA's birthday party at Southern Flair. That is in Chesapeake at the intersection of Volvo and Kempsville. We are going to have Cheese Town Radio in the building. DJ Red Carpet Capo, the host from the TOL radio show. And we're also going to have performance from the live band, Different Perspective. Come on out. We're starting it off, kicking it off at 7 p.m. It's going to be live. I guess I got to say it's going to be lit. That's the, the, that's the that's It's going to be term. lit. Yeah, but when you lit. say, I got to say, it's going to be, that's the new term, lit. It makes you sound old when you say it. Like you know that. what? I'm, I'm, cool. <laughs> I'm cool with my age. You know, I'm seasoned. How old are you turning, by the way? I'm still under 40. I ain't hit 40 yet. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Almost there. Almost there. I'm almost not, in not the club. knocking at the door. Yeah. It's okay. Forty yeah. is the new thirty five. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's crazy. We have a great show lined up for y'all this evening. Um I don't know where old boy is right now. I don't know what the sheriff is right now. Well, I do know what the sheriff is. I got them tools. Mm-hmm. So CJ got tools. I got them tools. So we still and I ain't D walk. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't D-Walk <laughs> But I got them tools He got the tools We miss you D-Walk And we gonna hot box too I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if, 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 if Chev don't show up I'm gonna, I'm gonna hot box for Yeah. We gonna make it through I have a real good sick of it Tonight A very controversial sick of it um, But it ain't from me It's from a, a young It's actually a, a young kid that's sick of it Alright now Right. We old mm. enough to be sick of nothing. He's sick of it. Like it's crazy. Y'all got this. Keep it locked and stay tuned for that. Of course, we have. Um, what is it? What, 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 what you got? I have latte laxative. Life can get messy. Let me help you clear it up. Today, what we'll be talking about is, fellas. Last week, we talked about how to know ten signs that a girl is just not interested in you. She don't like you like that. <laughs> this week. <laughs> I thought about, well, let, how do you know when she does like you? Because most of the time, there is a woman that's currently in your life Ooh. that likes you Ooh. like that. That's going to be good. And wants to be more than a friend. Hey, that's going to be and good. And is season. waiting for you to make that move. But you have no idea. So let me help you out. Let me clean it up for you. I bet I got a couple give you, already. Give you the signs. I know both of y'all got them. <laughs> Mm. And y'all just pretend like y'all don't know, but once I give mm. you the signs, y'all they know. Like I ain't know. Mm. So keep it locked right here for Latte's laxative, and I'm gonna I'm gonna help y'all out. So look, this we're gonna do. We're gonna get into this inclusive. The name of the song is called "I Want You." And when we come back, we're gonna talk a little entertainment news. Okay. okay. Because I want to talk about LeBron James. The I Promise School. And then you said, then you say you got cussed out about LeBron James. I did. I went back and forth, and I'm gonna shout out everybody on my Facebook feed. It's like 50 comments long because I said fuck Jordan. Yes, I did. Wow. <laughs> wow. And what? So keep shout it locked. Out to number 23 keep and it. number 23. Yeah. Keep mm. it locked right here. Cheese Town Radio. R&B. That online. Radio R&B. Mr. Unstoppable. You crown, you smile. Couple things to drive.
We are back. I am DJ Red Carpet Capo. Yay. What's up, y'all? Lady Latte in the building. I'm so used to um, Chev and 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 and, and D Walt. It, it's kind of got them too. It's kind of crazy. Like hot box. When we when we do our uh, uh, intro, we missing two people. Yeah, we missing two people. So it, it fucks the rotation up. Word. I can't wait to after we well, I don't I can't wait till the show is over so I can um work on this live um we're gonna be live on our website. Cause I like for the interaction with, with you know what I'm saying with the with the peoples out there. I like to hear their responses and comments to what we're talking about. I just don't understand why Facebook is hating on us, like what we do to be put in Facebook jail. You know, that's what people call it. You know what? I think that's what it is. Allows you, Controversial allows you to, you know, topics. Pose. Either that or it could be the music. Like, they don't want you to play no music at all. Could be the music. Could be the cursing. You know, our mouth can get a little Controversial foul. language. Or someone could have hated on us and um, filed That too. Facebook snitches. That too. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> 
One thing about us, one thing about us, you can't stop us. We have our own platform. We were just using those platforms because that's where everybody's at. But we got to start pushing our own platform a little bit harder. Well, we will, and we'll still utilize Facebook too when we get out of jail. So, and I, mean, I, don't, I don't even care about Facebook no more. I'm gonna start do everything. I'm doing everything on the websites. I mean, that's what I, that's what we built them for, right? It is. We built them to have our own platform, so we won't have to use anyone else's. So we can do, so we can do what we want to do. I just don't understand why they can throw all types of advertisements in your face twenty four seven, but when you try to post or promote something, it's shut down. Because you, I can search something on Google. Let's say um, high heel red shoes. I will go to my Facebook now. All of a sudden, high in my heel. feed, mm-hmm. I will see twenty different pairs of high heel red shoes advertisements. I always feel like mm. somebody's watching me. They watching me, yo, and they playing in tricks on me. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all crazy. I'm like, I don't even want the shoes. Back off. Back off off my feed. Let's talk some entertainment news real quick. So, entertainment news, as y'all know. LeBron James opened the I Promise School. Shout out to the King, King James. King, King of Akron. James. King of you know what I'm saying? King His Miami. I Promise School promises free tuition, free, free tuition. uniforms, free bicycles bi- and helmets, free transportation within two miles, free breakfast, lunch, and snack. Wait, wait, stop right there. Mm-hmm. The most important thing on that list was Breakfast, lunch, and snacks. Free plates. Breakfast, lunch, and snacks. Because public schools charging these kids. They sure do. They sure do. You can't apply for free lunch if your family is in a certain income bracket. However, free lunch is not, you know, awarded to everybody. And once again, you have to apply and be granted it. But he is saying that he's giving free breakfast, lunch, and snacks to everybody. Everybody, not everybody. Everybody. Everybody that attends this school. Mm-hmm. Um, also, free food pantry for families. So if your family is in need and you don't have food, he will allow the family to come into their food pantry, which I'm sure he's going to have some type of donation thing where people can, like the food bank that right. operates. Um, he also is guaranteeing GEDs and job placement services for parents. So if the student's parents are struggling he has a support system in place for them and guaranteed tuition to the university of akron for every student who graduates that's dope let me say that again guaranteed tuition guaranteed tuition to every student that what that graduates let me tell you something about tuition for college i'm old i'm not gonna speak my age but i appreciate every year i get and i've been out of school for some time and i am still Paying on student loans. Now, well, yeah, I didn't have them deferred a couple of times and all that good stuff. But I am, I will probably continue to pay on them because I'm about to go to back to school. But anyway, mm. I figure as long as I owe them, I'll never go broke. Facts. Um, true, true. <laughs> but guaranteed tuition. That's that dope. is amazing to me. That's dope. And on Facebook, you know, I put, you know, I posted to school like everybody's been posting and talking about it a lot. And of course, you know, I got a little negative feedback. Um, Who? What negativity can come from this? Well, okay. First of all, CJ, I talk shit, so I don't. Okay. So I might invite negativity at times. Okay. So because you know I keep it real. Energy transfer. So what I stated was the best that ever did it on and off the court, in my opinion. The name Jordan is just a pair of overpriced sneakers. Ooh, shots fired. So when I put that, you know, a couple of people felt a certain type of way. Right. And they wanted to express how they felt. And so I they talked about a... his basketball accomplishments compared to other people. Well, they're saying that um, he, uh, Jordan, does things for the community, but he don't have to parade it all over the pre- place like LeBron does. But and... did, hold on, did anybody, did anybody bring up the fact that Michael Jordan invests in prisons 
I did, and they told me that I, my information was incorrect, and that's, I told them I would have to do some research. No, he does yeah. invest in prisons. They told me it's a white man named Michael Jordan, and everybody think it's the black Michael Jordan that's no, a basketball player. But I told him I had to research that. Let me give you some um, something that I found out. Okay, I'm listening. Did you know that they go back to um, how they how they build new prisons? Mm-hmm. They go by the intellect and and the, the progress of the kids all the way into in the third grade, and they they they, they, they start preparing them for prison in kindergarten. Right, they sit down and say in the third grade this this kid has a pattern of this. He's probably going to end up in jail later on down the line. And based off that percentage of based how many that third percentage. graders right. end up in jail, they can kind of estimate where to put prisons at. That's amazing to me. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. So you're telling me also that I was correct about Michael Jordan because people telling me that I'm I'm incorrect about Michael Jordan. But shout out to everybody who um, commented. Shout out to Eric Jones. Eric Jones said prisons really. Um, and I said yes, and he was the one that said that I really got Michael Jordan mixed up with a white Michael, a white man named Michael. I've Jordan. never heard of a. Mm-mm. And he posted the man's picture and that this man invested in prison. I told him I had to do some research. I'm not too sure about that. I'm sure Michael Jordan is a very common name. Mm-hmm. You want to know what I think? What do you think, CJ? Here's what I think. I think a couple of things. Some things are going to be sound like they're supporting Michael Jordan. Some things are not. Now, a lot of people can be very critical of what athletes do or don't do. Mm-hmm. A lot of what they say they don't do. But half the time, the people that are criticizing, they ain't coming out of their pocket with nothing neither. Nothing. You know what? And I and I admit, remember, <laughs> I'm the one that's criticizing Michael Jordan, right? Right, right now. Right. And I'm comparing him to LeBron and seeing what LeBron is doing, not just the school, but LeBron has done many things throughout his career for his community, right? Right. But I feel as though I don't want to because I am Christian, so I don't believe in criticizing the point in the finger. But I feel as though I can talk and maybe the, the situation is so passionate to me because I work in a human service field. I right. give my time, my energy and my all every day Right. to other people that are less fortunate or in a certain type of position that um, allows them to need help and my assistance. And I think everyone will agree. Most people in the human service field, we don't get paid very well. Right. So I feel like I'm in a position where I can talk. Right, right. So. Well, now, now I'll say this as it relates to your comparison of LeBron James to Michael Jordan. I'm with you 100%. You know, a lot of folks, when people will say, hey, LeBron James, is he's socially active in the community. Oh, he's not a good player compared to Michael Jordan. Who cares about the basketball thing? We ain't that's talking about said. the basketball thing. It's- We're talking about being a man, being somebody that's in the community, being active for your people, being active for the community. So so I'm with you 100% on that, on that standpoint. Okay, but I hear a but coming, CJ. I hear the but. There's not a but. I would just add that a lot of people that are critical, like I mentioned before, they ain't never donated no monies. Anything. They never did any hours of community service. There's a bunch of lip service. Oh, this person has millions and millions of dollars. They should do more. What, what, what you? What, what you have do? you done? But what are you doing though? Right. I agree with that. Well, I ain't got millions of dollars. Okay. Where that twenty-five dollars you donated <laughs> to 10, this? Or, Twenty. Or how about just your time? Or your time. Now, a lot of them don't do that. So, but, but I'm with you, LeBron James. Regardless of what you think about the man from a basketball standpoint, oh, he doesn't have as many championships as Kobe or or Jordan or whoever. It ain't about basketball. This is about being a man. My thing is, when people saw my post, they didn't get that. I'm talking about what you do off the court. Because right. the court is eventually going to be retired. Right. So what is what is the man behind everything else? And I look at the, and I look at rappers the same way. I look at politicians the same way. I admit that if you're on a certain level of a platform, I expect for you to reach out to help your community because I can't wait 
and yes i'm speaking it to existence i can't wait when i'm on a platform like that right. like when i can just go somewhere and see somebody working hard and be like you know what i want to send you to college i want right. to pay your tuition right i, I want to go into a restaurant and leave a waitress a thousand dollar tip Right. And I don't know that her likes is cut off at home. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait to do that. So maybe it angers me a little bit that there are people, not just best athletes, but people in higher positions that don't do this. And and maybe you should advertise it. Because some people on my Facebook feed was like, well, they just don't advertise. Maybe you should. Because it makes people look at you a different way. And I wanted to shout out Cool Cash. Cool Cash posted that he had a personal experience with michael jordan when he met him working with nike and he um didn't interact with people he didn't and he wouldn't let people near him you you heard what he you know him and chameleon Air. remember the rapper yeah, chameleon Air? Yeah. uh-huh they got into it because chameleon Air, all he wanted he had like a jersey or something that he just bought for like fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or something like that uh-huh and he wanted jordan to sign it and jordan told him what did he tell Chameleon now? I forgot. Basically, you ain't on my level, get away. He no. said right. that he wouldn't let people around him. This is what Cool Cash said on my comments. He said he met him personally when he was working with Nike. He wouldn't let people around him. Um, he, it's, he says it sounds crazy, but in his opinion, he took more to the white people than he did African Americans. And that's where LeBron... And LeBron, on the other hand, will sit in the crowd, will act like a regular person... And there's just a big difference in even just how the two interact with the people and the fans. Right. So I just I don't know. And then people got into race on my comments. See, this what this is this is what I don't understand. This a what Caucasian I understand. Asian young man made a comment and they were like, What do you know about giving to the black community? And then the comments went to a, a whole nother left side. So I'm not gonna get into all that. Let's but. let's okay, let's 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 give a, a, a brief timeline real quick. Okay. I'm cuz I'm I would really want to get to the bottom of why people hate LeBron James. Like, okay. Well, they said that he is um and and I don't even follow basketball like that. They said that he's a bully on the court as far as like he always has temper tantrums, always wants his way. I mean, when you play basketball, what's, what's you, wrong with wanting your way? When you play, when you <laughs> listen, when you play basketball, and let's say you play street ball, and you get fouled, you get an attitude too. If your team is losing, you get an attitude. If a player on your team ain't doing what he's supposed to do, you get an attitude. So what's 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 wrong with that? And then he's a team hopper. He hops from team to team. Now okay. My, my let's, okay. Hold on. on. Wait. 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 Go let's, ahead. Okay. Let, let's talk about that. I was gonna talk about it. Go ahead. You tell me the he facts. He got drafted. In my opinion. He got drafted by the Cleveland Cavaliers, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. His first couple of years, seven years. His first couple of years, he took them to the playoffs and took them to the finals once, right? Yep. Oh seven. Right, took it to the finals, and where they lost to what? Uh, Spurs. They lost to San Antonio. Sweat. Okay. Right. Shout out to Tim Duncan, Tony Parker. Was, in which? They in were, which? They in which? They were. They were legends. In, they was gonna get that ring. Right. In which the best player he had on his team at that particular time was Larry Hughes. Mo Williams. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? And Booby Gibson. So after that, he begged ownership, help. Bring some help. Help me help you. Exactly. They never did that. That's why him and Dan Gilbert, which mm-hmm. is the owner of the team, have issues now. He left and went to Miami, which I thought was a decent move. What do y'all want this man to do? Rot in Cleveland? But here's my thing, and if and forgive me if I'm wrong, but if my son winds up growing up and being into sports, let me tell you something. He's going to be taught that the only team that he has loyal to is himself. Right. Team Jefferson. Right. Because at the end of the day, these teams will trade and barter you like a yeah, piece of cattle. There's no loyalty. So you with them. need to move what makes sense for your family and your own company exactly. and domain. You need to treat your these athletes need to treat themselves as if they are a company. Exactly. And they investing in themselves and they need to make the best moves for them. Whatever jerseys on their back is whatever supports them best. And technically, and they, they say he team hop. Technically. Who cares? He's on his own team technically, always. Technically. <laughs> Everybody that gets a new job, you're, you're, you're team hopping. But look, check this out. Technically, the Lakers is the second team he played for. He left Cleveland, went to Miami. Left Miami, went back to Cleveland. And not only he went back to Cleveland, he delivered them a championship. 
But I just don't get why people of, especially people of color, I hear their opinions the most, hate on him so much and hate on him for stuff like that because he should act as if he's a company. But even and before, whoever, and like you said, when people change jobs all the time, are you team hopping because you change your job? Let right. me get a job offer tomorrow. I mean, it's been real at the company I'm with. I so, love y'all. So this is the Deuces. thing, though. When you when you bring up all this, you know what they say? Jordan got six rings. Jordan never lost in the finals. Jordan, so what? Jordan hopped sports. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> the he nigga hopped the whole sport. <laughs> Nigga went from basketball to baseball to Motorcycling. golf to I don't know to sit your ass down somewhere. Uh, and 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 I and I am a hypocrite because I've never owned a pair of Jordans, but I did buy my son some. But he's I like, like the shoes. I like the shoes. The shoes you know what is saying? dope. But I don't think they're worth the young people that's dying over them or killing over them. And I just feel like how can that be your biggest like? legacy in the black community right now like that's what's the most talked about when it comes to the michael jordan name and brand is your shoes like you don't feel some type of way about that Mm-mm-mm. is it something bigger that i'm missing that people talk about more than jordan shoes well i, I, I don't know i, I just want to i, I want to know i think we got to celebrate things and people like LeBron like LeBron James and what he is doing. A lot of times we put a lot of emphasis into a bunch of dumb stuff. You know, I love hip hop, but sometimes some of these these artists dumb just make our community dumb. With and then bro, think stuff. about it. And then think about it. Even before he built the school, he was sending he sent thousands of kids to college. Yeah, with the thousands scholarships. With the scholarships. Thousands. So going to people's houses randomly and just yeah. giving them money. And so whatever. And- yeah, so whatever you think about him basketball wise, hey, that's your opinion. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why people and even sports sports commentators, I'm gonna tell you why they hate LeBron so much. Cuz he doesn't dance. No, no, no. LeBron has more power as an athlete than Michael Jordan ever had. Well, that's because the business grows mm. and then I don't know about that. Michael you think LeBron so? James has more power in the NBA than Michael Jordan ever had. Michael Jordan had power outside of the NBA. But do you think that's the business just growing? That's just like comparing a rapper from nineteen eighty nine or the nineties yeah. to how much rappers make now. The industries tra- change, people right. get smarter, more people money get involved. more educated, is more money involved, more ways to make money. It's just a different it's a different game than when Jordan was playing. And I'm not talking about the court game. I'm talking about it, the business you, you, side. You can say the court game too. Well you can Because if but... Michael Jordan play if Michael Jordan play in, in the NBA um now, mm-hmm. he would average seventy points. <laughs> Because see, back in the days, you could hand check. Right. You it could was a physic- more physical. It was a more physical game, game back then. It ain't as physical game. now. If Michael Jordan play, if Michael Jordan played right now in the NBA right now, he would average seventy points. You know what? I like Michael Jordan, but who cares but, about Michael Jordan? Let's celebrate LeBron. Let's James. celebrate LeBron James. Let's celebrate LeBron. And on that note, let's get back into some music. When we come back, I'm sick of it. Sick of it. I'm sick of it. Remember, y'all supposed to take a drink every time y'all hear sick of it. Take that shot with Capo. And if you got something that you sick of, tag us on Facebook. Post it. Post it. Tag us on our um, website, cheesetownradio.rb.online. Also, email it to me, djredcarpetcapomusic at gmail.com. Yeah, I have a new email address. Sweet. So, we didn't even talk about uh, Faith Evans and Steven. Well, yeah, we did. We talked yeah, we about talked that about the about first episode. Week. Oh. Or the week before last. You was late that day. Oh, I'm sorry. Punctuality. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I'm dedicating I'm dedicating this next song to all you LeBron James haters. The name of this song is called Who Do You Think You Are? <laughs> By Miss Sherelle Atkins. <laughs> No, I, she was Atkins then. I'm sorry. Miss Sherelle Griffin. She's on Radio R&B. Dot online. She's down Radio R&B. Thank you. 
be around I swear I want to turn my back on you You complain that I don't understand you You only want to be heard Swore up and down You were never hurt me without you gave me a word You make it difficult for me to want to be around I swear I want to leave you now But every time I do I come right back to you Disrespecting me, give me no affection. Running up there with your boys, you pay me no attention. But yet, I do everything for you. Buy your clothes, take care of you. But you just wanna put me down. Who do you think you are? You are, you are. Who do you think you are? You are, you are. Who do you think you are? Feel so right. The only time we get along is when you wanna go inside. You got me so confused. I just wanna cry. I swear I wanna turn my back on you. You'll complain that I don't understand you. You only wanna be hurt. Swore so up and down you would never hurt me, but that you gave your word. You make it difficult for me to wanna be around. Yeah, we ain't giving you 
We are back. I am DJ Red Carpet Capo. I am Norfolk CPA. What's up, y'all? This is Lady Latte. I'm in the building. <laughs> hey, you see how she came in, bro? Aggressive. Very, very aggressive. Kick Confident. Kicking the door, waving the fork. Hey, shout out to <laughs> Faith. Come through. Hey, shout out to Faith Evans. I was watching a um interview with her on the Drink Champ. Man, Faith is hood as hell, yo. Like she's like a hood, like hood. She's Faith says she eat the groceries. Yeah. And I commend her because I don't eat the groceries. Mm. I will Whoa. Eat the groceries eight, but I will not eat the groceries because they asked her, did Big eat booty? And she said, "Yeah, big ate my booty, <laughs> and I ate booty's big, big booty too." I said, "Whoa!" Man, y'all got listen. Everybody, uh, not, everybody needs to go to <laughs> and watch that episode of Drink Champs. Faith yes. Evans mm, will surprise you. Like she is, bro. I, I, I fucked with Faith Evans. Shout out to Faith Evans. It's a bit much because when she said it, you automatically go to a visual. You <laughs> try not to go there, but you go, and the visual's not. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to visualize her eating. Exactly, but when I heard her say balls, it, but y'all groceries. keep y'all keep talking. When I heard her say it, <laughs> I don't think when I, I was want to listening to that. Drink Champs and I heard her say it, I automatically went to the visual and I said, "No, don't go, don't go to the visual." And I went to the visual and it was not. It's not pretty, faith. Mm-mm-mm. I lost faith in um, faith. You faith. lost faith in faith. Well, I lost faith in faith when she married Stevie J, but y'all already talked about that, so I'm not going to go there. Yeah. I'm assuming it's a publicity stunt, you know, become relevant again. I don't know. I, don't I think they're married. No, they really married. They really married. But I think married. the whole marriage is like for his reality show. Or something. Listen, if you go and watch that full episode of Drink Champ, I think you will understand why her and Stevie J linked up like that. She is the, out. she is the, I think she is the only one that's going to really keep him in check for real. Or he going to no, get shot. Let me, okay. And, I'm yeah. a, and I will do this on a latte's laxative another day. But let me tell you something. Only person that can keep a man in check is that man. Ooh. 
And ladies need to know that. So, ladies, I'm going to be on y'all in a couple of weeks. Right now, I'm trying to help the fellas clean some things up. And I, I, disagree. I'm a, I'm I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Certain a women team. can certain women can make you do certain things and make you change your ways. I believe that. I'm a firm believer. I don't. Let's get into what we what I like to call sick of it. Sick of it. So, my sick of it moment. Well, not my sick of it moment. It ain't even me this week. Who is it? My sick of it is. Sick of yes. Do y'all know? Um, have y'all ever heard of um, Miss Sherry Shepherd? Sherry Shepherd, the comedian. Yes, she was on The View. Uh huh. She said so. She was um on The Breakfast Club last week. Yeah, I I heard that interview. And she said something that blew my mind. It ain't really blow my mind. It's just something that I never heard been put that way. I've always thought like that, but it was something that I never heard put that way. So she said her son came home one day and um, she said he's normally little, you know what I'm saying, festive or whatever. But she said this particular day he comes home and he's kind of like melancholy. That's the word I want to use. He was, a, he was melancholy. So she asked him, she was like, well, what's wrong? And he said, she, he wouldn't tell her at first. So she said, she kept asking, kept asking, and uh, finally he told her. And he said, mommy, I think I like white girls. <laughs> and she said, she said, she it, it, it shocked her for a second. So she asked her, she was like, well, why do you, why, why would you say something like that? She said, because, he said, because the black girls at school tease me and they're mean and, they're mean. and he and this is his sick moment right here he said not only do are they mean to me not only do they tease me but then they get mad and they, they, they always tell me to leave them alone and and, and, and all of huh. that so look he said not only they do all of that but they get upset with me when I talk to the white girls, mm. they don't want to be bothered with me. But when I talk to the white girls that treat me good, like the, the white girls share they, you know what I'm saying, share their lunch, you know what I'm saying, they they play with me, blah blah blah. Sick of it. So your when you say you've never heard it that way, why? What was it about his version? Well, I I heard the same interview. Right. And I guess she, as a black woman, Sharon Shepard was like, she didn't know how to react to that. Right. I, um, you know, I respected what she was saying, but, you know, the therapist in me came out and I'm going to respond to it, but I want to make sure you're done. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to let you respond on it. Okay. He broke that down to a child's level. Mm-hmm. As a man level of it, that's what's going on today. I noticed there's a lot of, and listen, I love my black women. Let's get that straight. Mm-hmm. But our mm-hmm. black women, yeah. mm-hmm. y'all are mean, unapproachable mm-hmm. at times. Mm-hmm. Don't want to be bothered at times. I ain't but touching then, this. But then, y'all I'm get sick up. sick of them talking shit. Sick but look, of, look, look. Take a sip. No. Yeah, I need a shot. I need a shot for this one. <laughs> take a sip because I'm sick of it. But look, CJ, then they get mad. Okay, you, you don't want to be bothered with us. Mm-hmm. You don't want us to say nothing to you. Mm-hmm. So when we start talking to the white girl or the, or the Puerto Rican mm-hmm. girl or this girl, mm-hmm. oh, why he got it? He, he, he can't find nobody his, his, his same color. Mm-hmm. You, you I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to let you go. Take it. Hold on. And you know what? Sure, sure Shepherd's um, son, I'm going to take a shot for you. Sick of it. Okay, first and foremost, you know, I joke and I play with y'all, whatever, and I listen to y'all talk shit constantly. But it's this is a double-sided sword, and I think one side of the sword, actually, you're going to be surprised when I say this, and black women are pro- maybe will not agree with me, but if they keep it real. Keep it real. They will say that I'm, I'm touching some areas that need to bring, light needs to be brought on. Black women can come off defensive, mean, um, and be described in a way, like you said, like a child would put it, as just unapproachable. But the thing about it is, 
psychologically we've been trained to be without our man for so long. And, and the training is unconscious. So I can't tell you how young I was when somebody first said to me, um, you can do it yourself. You don't need nobody. You don't ever depend on a man. This stuff is being told to me when I'm like five, six years old. Mm-hmm. So right? Other, so um, other cultures aren't told? I don't that? know. Oh, okay. I'm black. Yeah, you only can speak <laughs> on. And I and I don't know other black women's experiences, but I'm gonna say that I, I'm representing the black women today. Okay. Um, and this was told to me as a young person, right? So you're thinking, you're not thinking about it when I say unconsciously, and I don't think the women around me thought about it. And then what am I seeing? What am I viewing? What I'm seeing is, you know, in my household growing up, my mom did more work than my dad. Um, And, you know, my dad had his own issues, but my mom did most of the work. And when I looked at my aunties and my grandmas and all this stuff, there wasn't a strong male figure in most of the households that I experienced as a child. Mm -hmm. Now, there were a few uncles and aunts that were married and stuff like that, but there was more single mothers than couples. So you see this. Once again, this is an unconscious visual that you get. So you're growing up hearing you don't need a man. You don't see men in the majority of the households that you look at. And then you're told, be strong. Be be, um, dependable on yourself. Be independent. You know, Beyonce had the song. It's independent and all this stuff. Single ladies and all this stuff. is being The creator of the empowerment movement. Bills, bills, bills. We were part of this empowerment movement. No women scrubs. working and TLC. stuff like that and so then if you take it further back than that you have the slavery time when men were taken away from their families women were sold off men were sold off um women were raped and did whatever. you hear about when some of the slave masters what they would do was beat the man in front of the woman to break them the down and all that stuff. In so in people, front of them So people get tired of us talking about that. But what we don't talk about is when those things happen, the mental part of it is transitioned from generation to generation. So say I'm probably about five or six generations from whoever had my family as a slave master. So I directly didn't see that. However, when my ancestors saw that, they brought that mentality to the next generation, to the next generation, to the ge- next generation, till my generation, I'm growing up, you don't need a man. You know why? Because your man get, might get taken away. You don't need a man. You need to be able to raise your children on your own because a slave owner might sell them. They don't say that literally, but you see how it transformed and it's the same thing. So, so then that- we get to this topic, Capo. So when you get these little girls with these attitudes and stuff like that, all that transcends from what they're seeing at home. We are still subconsciously teaching young women, even as small children, to not respect men, our men, to our men are always around. Um, And then they may see women be mean to men. So children, and I said I was going to write a book called this, children don't do as you say, they do as you do. So if they see their mom do it and their aunties do it, that's why people are being mean to him at school because they don't know how to treat a man. They don't see one. So, you can talk about the little white girls. Most white families... Is raised in a two-parent household. Exactly. They see a man, they see mommy and daddy. Well, not all of them, but the majority. It's interesting. It's interesting that So, it's like we get blamed for something that we've been taught unconsciously, and we don't even realize that we're doing it. It's interesting that you brought that up about the the, the two-parent, the the white families is raised in a two-parent household, and the majority of the black household... Is um that basically a, a, a one parent household? My aunt, who my aunt and my aunt and my uncle, they was uh had came down to Charlotte to the event. Oh, good that you recently did. Right, and um after the event, we went to my aunt's house and all of us were sitting down talking. And um I was telling my aunt, I said my feet hurt, and I took my shoe off and rubbing my foot or whatever, and she was like, um, the reason why your feet hurt. Is because you're not wearing the proper shoes at work, mm-hmm. right? So she was like, "I," uh, she said, "Cause uh, your uncle." She said, "What I do?" She said, "I, I make sure I find, I found 
him the proper work shoes. Like she said, she paid like five, six hundred dollars for his work shoes mm -hmm. because she's concerned to make sure his feet right when he go to school. I mean, when go he to go work. to work. Mm -hmm. But this is what, 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 like shocked me. She loved that man. This is what I'm shocked me. She said when he comes home, uh -huh. she already prepared the meal. And this is what got me. She said she ran him a hot, hot bath. Mm. So she said by the time he done took his hot bath, ate what she done cooked, he knocked out for the rest of the night. So I was wondering, I was sitting out of thinking, how many women nowadays, less known cook, would take the time to run a run a bath water mm -hmm. for for your man? I think a lot would. Oh, I think I would no, say maybe no. I should say a lot. I said I would say I think you would be surprised. But the woman had what did I say when you first said she ordered them five hundred dollars shoes? What did I say? What did you say? I said she loved him. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of women are in situations, but they're not in love. But I'm a, when I get to the she like you like that section <laughs> on the life latte is laxative i'll go more deeper into that but a lot of women are in situations either for finances or for children but they're not in love see how your uncle is being treated that woman love that man honey it ain't got nothing to do with the ring on her finger it ain't got nothing to do with what he has done or is doing for her mm -hmm. he she, she loved him that's love right there so i was so I was visualizing if they had smaller kids, preferably women, growing up to see that. Exactly. You would produce more women that were like that. Right. As opposed to, I, would, I, I said they elaborate on what you were saying. But I get it. But you're right, and we don't see that. And, I, and I'm not saying all households, y'all, so I don't want no huge feedback on all black women I like that and this and that, and all white women don't have come from perfect families. I'm not saying all, but there's a large majority, and we do have to subconsciously be aware of what we're teaching our children and what we're m mimicking to them. And I still say social media has a lot to do with it, too. And the I reason why I say social media have a lot to do with it is because... And I, I mentioned this on the Ike and Tina show. Shout out to um, DJ S2, shout out to Kix. Me and Chev was on the Ike and Tina show, and um, they brought the uh, Kix subject was, is chivalry dead? Mm -hmm. And what happened to it? If it's dead, what happened to it? And, like, and I told him, I said, I feel like social media had a lot to do with the, the, the discord. And the mm -hmm. reason why I feel like that is because you could get on there and say, I hate when a man open my door open my door for me i can open my own door and then you'll have another female comment and say i hate that too girl now you got then you got another girl to comment i hate that so you got a whole post of women saying they hate for a man to open the door for them then you got somebody that's reading this and now all of a sudden in their head it's not cool for a man to open the door for me. but think about what i said earlier and where that comes from as a little little girl Mm -hmm. Like show your strength, show be independent. Don't that so something as small as a gentleman open the door mean meaning he's only doing it because he think you can't do it for yourself. Right, that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Like I work with young men at my job, and I know I told people earlier I'm in the human service field. I work with teenage boys, and I teach them you should open the door if I'm coming behind you. You know what I'm saying? Hold the door for me. And, and when they do it, I say, thank you. Good job. You know, when you take your girlfriend out, that's what you need to do. Right, right. You need to respect her. You know, um, some a lot of them come in with, a, with with the habit of cursing. They curse in front of their own parents, so who am I to them? They cur stop, Please stop cursing in front of me. I find that disrespectful. I don't pop off at them and say, hey, da 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 I say, I find that disrespectful because... You, their definition of respect and my definition of respect are usually two different two things. Two different things, right. One, we are generational. There's a huge right. generation difference. Two, I don't know how they were raised. I don't know what they... So you don't make assumptions about people. And in that... so You know what? I'm not going to curse in front of you. <laughs> but shit, I do it. <laughs> no. So look, CJ, real quick. But it's just a respect thing with age. I feel like you're not on my level. You shouldn't be cursing, but we're all of, of age. But I said all that to say that women need to, especially black women, we got our men back, 
and it's not we're not in slavery and we need to reverse some of that thinking not all black women are mean or evil but i was a sassy black girl myself i can't speak to everybody else but i look back at slavery and i look back at how i want to be and how i want to raise my son and that's not what i want to show so i i had to twerk some things i had to change a few things about myself because i don't want to be the little mean black girl right right uh, CJ, real quick, have you had any personal issues pertaining to this young man, Mister um, um, Miss Sherry Shepard's son? And for the people that just tuned in, um, we in sick of it, and my sick of it uh, situation tonight. Sick of black girls, y'all. My sick sick of it situation tonight. Uh, Miss Sherry uh, Shepard, her son came home and told his mom that. Um, he doesn't like black girls. He think no. He didn't say that. He said, "I think I like white girls." And Sherry said, "Why do you feel that way?" And he said, "Because black girls are mean to me." Right. So, have you had a moment like that? More so when I was younger, mm-hmm. high school days. Right. You know, when everybody's feeling themselves and it's crazy. I think women's taste evolve over time or change more whatever you want to call it so it, when they're in high school age they go for a certain type of person and if you're not that person they may have a certain attitude towards you or that right. they display towards you. right right but what i found is and you've probably experienced this too as, as we got older I started to notice women a little bit more accommodating <laughs> and a little bit more nice and they more what? They're more accommodating. They're a little bit more nice, welcoming, oh. and it's you know I, I you talking about nowadays? Yeah, it's I like they. I think they're a little worse now. And the reason why I feel like they were teenagers, right? I think they're a little worse now. And the reason why I feel like they're a little worse now is because now they've been through a breakup, a few breakups. Some of them have been married. Right. And the marriage didn't, didn't go right. So it's like now they have a wall up. And right. like you do, you have to do so much to break down that wall. By the time you break down that wall, you tired as hell. I haven't experienced that too much. Maybe I I don't talk to enough women. <laughs> so are you trying to say I do? <laughs> trying to say you might be a hoe guy. <laughs> you, you know what? what she, I didn't co sign. What she said, what you say last week about DJs? <laughs> I said that most DJs is hoes, but <laughs> I didn't mean all of them. Oh, okay, thank you. Just most of them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And Cabo, you on the most list. Um, go wow. ahead. Oh <laughs> man, that's messed <laughs> up. <laughs> Dang, he just told no, us that his, his boot ain't watch like the that. show. No, I'm playing. I just, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I think women, um, like she just playing. She's just trying to give me. Oh, yeah, I'm probably gonna get killed for saying this one too. I think women are nicer when they get older because their their standards go down, <laughs> or they out of shape. Damn, that too. homie. And that, but that would bring them. Or they out of shape. Homie. You know, what back in you know you? <laughs> you know in high school they was had the nice body, blah blah blah, banging. Now they're a little bit older, mm. that might and they don't look mean. they don't look nowhere like they look. I think several reasons why their standards go down, I, and maybe that's not a good term to use. That's a their good term. Life and change. <laughs> Okay, because the positive side of it is maybe they've come to find out that the the cute boy that was fly at school or or the top drug dealer at school, they don't wind up growing to be anything. So they've gotten smarter to say, I "I want the guy that has a job. I kept dissing that nerd. Look at him. He owed the building. Right. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, maybe they, they, you know. Even the girl in school. Smart enough. Even the girl, even the the baddest girl in, in school. She, 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 what? Man, look, I ain't gonna say her name. You smashed. But it was this, it was this, it was this one bad chick in high school. I mean, I, I, she was like, mm, mm, mm. everybody had that. that I seen her. I seen her about a month ago. I hadn't seen her since high school. I seen her about a month ago. I seen her since. I haven't seen her since high school. But it's been. And I seen her a month ago. Yeah, it's been some years. Uh And um, I seen. I said, what in the entire happened to you she had two or three kids two you know what baby daddies. Time, time. Well, but you know what she told, told me you know what she told me what oh i always like you know you didn't you lies. dissed me in high school lies she's lying 
we look, finally look, agree you on something. You used to joke me at high school. Lying. Look, She's lying. Latte, so a couple okay. of weeks ago, I was in the club or the, the bar, whatever you want to call it. I was in the bar. Was I there? And Coppa was in the building. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I ran into yeah, this. Oh, I ran into this oh, chick that I had a big crush on in the first grade. Mm-hmm. First grade. Mm-hmm. In the first grade. In the first grade. Oh, my yeah, I remember I that. Like, I was like, "Yo, is that you?" You know. So I started talking to her, and then she introduced me to her sister. And then I guess her sister co-signed me because she was like, "Yo, you know, I really wish that you and my sister could have hooked up in, in the first, first grade." grade. <laughs> Nobody thinking about you in the first grade. She Shout lying. out to my first grade crush. And she lying too. She, she lying might be just to like the show. um Capo old classmate lying. And shout out lying to the shout out to the, shout, out, <laughs> shout out to the chick that used to be bad in high school. That's a block now. But anyway, Damn, homie. That was you don't have to come man, for her. Homie. Now you just as bad as she is. Yeah, I am bad. I'm sorry. But I'm sick of it. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> And let's get into this Chantel Diverse when we come back. <laughs> Ten signs. Ten signs. Ten signs that she likes you like that. Uh, 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 Stay uh, tuned. Uh, T-O-L. She likes you like that. You got to know when to holler and when not to. The T.O.L. Radio Show right here on Cheesetown Radio R&B. Dot online. Yeah. Radio R&B. All I ever wanted was your money Then you started acting all funny Playing with my heart, now you's a dummy Now you're telling everybody fuck me, no It's not fuck me, it's fuck you 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 all I really wanted was your money Then you started acting all for me No, it's not fuck me, it's fuck you 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 Yo, don't give a damn about you You was cool as fuck And if you switched it up I guess you talk to your niggas when they suit you up Put your ass on game, but you smart enough Damn, damn See, I had the back though So I'm a little frustrated when it comes to my money, and my pockets full of funny. I do a quick one eighty. One time, one time for them queens getting that bag, yeah. Two times, two times for them queens taking your man, yes. Oh, oh, open honest. All they really wanted was the Pocahontas. Low money, pop pies, they strong money. I gave you the greatest pussy, bust it wide open like a fortune cookie. Them other niggas couldn't afford the nookie. Whoever needs to be a nameless rookie. It's all good though. You ain't the only nigga, and I got my own dough. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss it. Free money, free money plus interest. All I ever wanted was your money. Then you started acting all funny. Playing with my heart, now you's a dummy. Now you're telling everybody, fuck me. No. It's not fuck me, it's fuck you. 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 All I really wanted was your money. Then you started acting all for me. No, it's not fuck me, it's fuck you. 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 Hey, that what I do, what I do. Hey, slanging that lie like the truth. Hey, you really chilling with who? Hey, she out of order, my boo. Hey, I'm really digging you. Don't wanna be with you. Just wanna chill when the feelings cool. I tell you I like you, but don't really like you. I just be all in my feelings too. I just be moving a lot, running through women that's never gonna stop. I got a heavy detention I got. Fresh out the big man, that money be high. Dropping the blue bitch, you really gon' pop, but I got some games who I think that I'm not. Acting on timid, but girl, you ain't shy. I am competitive, we not a tie, so go to your friends that is big, not a lie. Shorty be wanting a piece of the pie. I don't be tricking, these women be high. I just be buzzing, you know, like a fly. I am the dude that is known as the guy. Had to change up, push, start up the ride. Ten on the window. So shorty can hide Women be tripping I just tell them bye All I ever wanted Was your money Then you started Acting all funny Playing with my heart Now you's a dummy Now you're telling Everybody Fuck me No 
to the TOL show you are in Latte's laxative but I just have to do a PSA real quick because CJ done got on my motherfucking nerves hey I'm team break. CPA right now and yeah, he I just have spoke the truth. to he just spoke the real the Shara and Chevy I'm kicking y'all motherfucking yeah. ass because I'm here by myself hey, we rule. as the only female we and rule. they are double teaming me I'm with this boxing. bullshit that they spit hey, right hey, hey, I'm hot boxing <laughs> that's what I'm doing I'm hot you know what? We're going to save it for hot boxing. We're going to save it for hot boxing. We're going to save it for hot boxing, and I'm going to stick to my agenda because these niggas is trying to throw me off up in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm. going to stick to my agenda, and my agenda is lattes, laxatives, life can get messy. Let me help you clean it up. Clean it yep. up. So today we are doing 10 things, 10 signs to show that a girl is into you. She's feeling you like that. Last Take week we notes. did... How do you know when she's not feeling you like that? Now we're doing how do you know when she is feeling you like that? I'm taking notes. Because the biggest thing is um, when <clears throat> girls are feeling you like that, we don't straight up come approach you. So say you see a girl in a bar or somebody you don't know. It can be in any environment. How do you know she likes you? How do you know she has interest? What would y'all say? Before I give you the 10 top ones. You're going to have to give me the top because I, I didn't gave up. She buys you a drink. That's a good sign. She buy you a drink? Yep. Yeah, she will a, buy you a drink. Had a girl buy me Very ice good. cream on the beach before. That I was, had that happen before. Ooh, um, it was a it, it was a bartender. <laughs> it was a bartender in, um, up, I was in Upscales one night. Okay. And um, me and my sisters, we was, uh, we, actually me and my sisters was there for a birthday party. Okay. And we was chilling. And all of a sudden, um, all of a sudden, the, the waitresses come out with two bottles of champagne she and all these sh- all the wait and all these champagne glasses. Okay. So we sent it back. We was like, well, we ain't order no champagne. And the, one of the waitresses was like, the waitress was like, um, I'm gonna say her name. I'm waiting. Shout out to I can't remember your name. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. What is her He's name? Like, I'm gonna say her name. I was gonna say her name. What is it? Da, da, Tiffany. Da, da, da. Her name was Tiffany. He thinks. It was Tiffany. Her name was <laughs> Tiffany. No, it was Tiffany. Okay. I need to take a shot on it because I'm I'm sick of latte. I'm sick of Take your shot because I'm sick of you just not knowing your whole name. Take okay. a shot. Maybe the straight. Tiffany to was our waitress. And what Tiffany did Tiffany was Keisha. Tiffany was like, um, somebody already paid for the champagne, y'all. Good. So we sit down there, I wrecked my brain all night long trying to figure out what one cause you know we we in upscale, so you got women in there. With hearing aids on. Don't, don't go there. <laughs> don't do it. No don't do it. Do not cancel out the old joints, the cougars. Yeah, so I I, I um, was wondering. I, I wrecked my brain all night trying to figure out who would send me a bottle of champagne. So anyway, after a while, I got a little tipsy and forgot all about it. So we leaving. I'm closing out the tab. Okay. Tiffany comes. Up. I said, Tiffany, can you please tell me who sent this bottle of champagne? And she said, I did. I've been watching you ever since you walked through the door. Tell me you smash. Yes. <laughs> Cause Tiffany was trying yes. to smash you. Now, mind you, she worked there, so she got that champagne on the low low. But, <laughs> but, but it was dope. That was it's dope. It's the effort that counts, that Tiff. I'm with you. I'm with you on the effort, Tiff. But I know she didn't pay. She probably stole. Low. Yeah, the inventory Damn. count is low. The for that. Uh, yeah. Now, obviously, you know they didn't Tiffany. have a bar manager in place. But, and I lied to you not. The only reason me and Tiffany not mess with each other right now is because she moved. You should have married Tiffany. I wish. 
And guess Speaking what? Speaking of the 10 and guess signs, what? And guess you should have married Tiffany. Guess sign what? number one. Guess what? Mm. She's stealing from work for you. <laughs> guess what, <laughs> though? <laughs> You're going to be shocked about this. What? She was dark skinned. You know what? I'm not shocked because the light skinned hoe going to put up her job. I love dark skinned. <laughs> with you. So, for the record, I love And I, and I man, I, I, I love Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Tiffany, if you sacrifice, Tiffany, skin girl. Tiffany, if you listening, girl, I'm gonna um, Tiffany, if you listening, I'm, I got my Michael Jackson on. I want you back. Oh Lord, <laughs> Tiffany, say you ain't never getting none of this no more. Champagne on it or nothing. That was about ten years ago, so Tiffany probably fat and got like six kids. Don't hate on Tiffany. <laughs> you don't know what Tiffany had in her life. Fall back. Don't mm. hate on Tiffany. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, 10 things to tell when a girl's into you. The reason why I brought up that thing about the club is because the first sign is she looks at you. Mm. She looks at you. Looks at you. Looks at you. Gives you the look. Do y'all know what the look is? No, what's the look? I don't know. The look is if I look at you seductively for more than five seconds... I want it. You should come over. Man, but that could be any one. That could be any drunk no, woman. Watch this. Like, watch <laughs> you could be, you know what I'm saying? You could be drunk and you know what I'm saying? Yo, Does she do that when she's sober? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. If I stare at you directly and it's obvious that I'm looking at you and you go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. By three Mississippi, if it's just a casual glance, she will look away. Is it the same? If it gets to five or more, she is insinuating to you that she wants you to come over and talk to her. Remember I said directly looking at you. You never had a girl do that? You never had a girl give you the look. And, And the sad part is most of the time I give dudes the look it's like they look around like, are you looking at me? I'm like, yes, nigga. I'm you know what? You. I'm, joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, but you right. And I'm going to tell you why you right. I know I'm right. And this just happened recently. This just happened recently. What? And, and when I mean recently, I mean within the past about a month and a half. Okay. So somebody gave you the look. Me and DJ Stretch was at Music Lab one night. And me and him just sitting down there talking, minding our business. Okay. It was these two young ladies sitting beside us. One was Beautiful, light skin. Matter of fact, light skin. you saw her last night. <laughs> the one I was talking to last night. Okay, we don't want, we don't, we but was anyway, not there. Yeah. Moving on. But anyway, um, me and Stretch just sitting there talking. Guess what she says to me? What? Just out of the blue. What y'all? What you? What you think about Kanye West's new uh, album? Okay. Just out of the blue. Like she trying to spark up a conversation. Sparked up a conversation, and we just kept talking. I still talk to her to this day. Was she giving you the look though? What she yeah, she was giving me the look. She would give me the look the whole time, but at the same time, I was getting a little nervous. You know, but I was a little nervous because that's I because ain't y'all don't know what the look is. So that's what I'm telling you. Number ten is the look. If a girl is looking Number at you, number ten, you at ten already? I'm going backwards. Oh, so no, don't go backwards. Okay, well, she, number one. You already did number one. She did number ten, which was the first one. Okay, never mind. Oh, you going? Let's start over. I'm convi- I'm confusing people. Number two. Number one. Let's go one to ten, okay? Number one, the girl gives you the look. Or she buy, does something directly for you and she doesn't know you. So either the look or buys you a drink in the club. This is a stranger. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So how the girl sent you the champagne, how the girl bought sent CJ a, a drink. That is a non-attachment gesture of hello. If a girl is staring at you, <laughs> For more than five seconds, directly looking at you with a positive <laughs> affect <laughs> on, on her face. Hold on. Me. That happened to me. me Hold on, watch this, CJ. Uninterrupted. Look, this happened to me. I'll say three or more. This happened to me in Charlotte. <laughs> I'm no, going to no, cut this, your story time off. No, this is real about. short. This is real short. So, Go ahead. Because you're going to have to dissect this one. Baby, I oh, just Lord. need five minutes. So, CJ, I'm sitting at the bar, right? Beautiful young lady comes and sits beside me at the bar, right? She Tell must have been dark skinned. Cause yeah, she, cause, she, yeah, she was. You know how I know? Because let me tell you about you, Capo. Whenever the young lady is light skinned, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, he'll say, beautiful look, young lady, light skinned. And wow. then she'll, <laughs> and then he'll go into so his story. So Whenever she's out. dark skinned, he'll, he'll just say, she was pretty. She was nice looking. And then go into the story. He so won't look, highlight so check this out. So check this out, right? So she says, I'm minding my business. Matter of fact, I had me a turkey burger. I had my little Hennessy. I'm good. She tells the bartender, she say, I want what he's having and make sure he have one too. 
Mm. So I said, okay, okay, okay. We in the hotel, okay. So we you know, some gestures. Yeah, I'll get so, to that. So me and her talking, right? Uh-huh. All of a sudden, this big dude come from nowhere. And guess what the first thing he do? Buy he her a drink. He kisses her. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm like, I, so that was a mixed signal. Why the hell you buy me a drink? They might have been trying to have a threesome. <laughs> oh. All right, go into the next one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, what happened after that? I ain't gonna cut this story off. Well, what, what happened, happened after? No, what happened after that is they sat down and talking. I'm sitting there confused. That's a. I I don't know if maybe she didn't know her man was coming there. Or maybe she was there with her man, but didn't think she would have the opportunity to see you again. So she wanted to put in like the "I like you." I'm trying to holler, but I'm with somebody type mm, of vibe. I don't know. That was weird. Or they wanted a threesome. Are you I'm that not quite sure. DJ from Chesapeake. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, which is the opposite of something that was on the list last week, she laughs at you a lot. Like all of a sudden, you are like Everything the number funny. one comedian in the world. Shit, you say to your friends, they like, oh, that's not that funny. But to her, it's hilarious. She laughs at you a lot. That is a sign, guys, that she is into you. She smiles a lot. Okay. Another key thing that goes with number two is not only does she laugh at you, but when she talks to you, her voice change. If a girl's voice goes a pitch higher than normal, she's in the I like you tone. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> mm, okay. 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 Number three, she dresses up for you. Mm. She dresses up. <laughs> What? She dresses up for you. Meaning she puts her makeup on. She puts her lipstick on. She mm. she looks like she's about to hit the club every time she knows she's gonna be in your presence. Shout out to my strange she, friend. Cause she wants to do her best. And see, you know what? Do, you, you know what? Do it for me. What does it for you, Capo? When y'all smell good. I love oh to smell good. Oh, my. I have this thing God, where I bro. like to seduce dudes with my smell. Jeez. So I wear my signature smell all the time, and it's actually the combination of two things. And it drives dudes crazy. So I got a question. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. When you had that pink dress on. Oh, I had my smell good. Last week at Chevy's um, birthday party. Shout out to Chevy. I don't know did what the you hell have you this, Did you have the seductive... I did. Fragrance on. I did. Who was you trying to seduce? Well, sometimes you mm. just want to leave your air. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. and step into the room, kaboom, and people got to remember that I was there. Yeah, yeah, me? yeah, yeah. You never know who you gonna meet, where you gonna meet them at. But I just like to have my signature smell because smell goods. That's part of looking good for whoever. Mm. Okay, she number three. No, this is number four, and I ain't even drinking. She touches you a lot and says your name a lot. I know we mentioned touching earlier, CJ. She mm-hmm. finds reasons to touch you when she's talking to you, whether she touches your shoulder, your what, okay, your hand, so. and she will say your name a lot. So what is so okay? Which name? Do, it, it, so, whatever so name she she's say, familiar she, with. Does she say Capo or does she say Sean? Like, do is it? Let me it, tell you, fair women say my question. whole full name. That's a good question. And what we will do is we will try to call you what your closest friends and family call you. So, let's say everybody that don't really know you calls you Capo, then I'm going to want to call you Sean. You feel me? Uh, Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So, say everybody calls you CJ. Everybody and- calls me Norfolk CPA. Shut up, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> so, she might say Clarence. She might say Clarence. 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 CJ. You right. Hey, look. She right, though. So, I know. Uh-huh. I mean, I know you be uh-huh. like Norfolk CPA, but what's your mama call you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's right, what she going to be like. She right, though. Because Clarence. she feels like that's more intimate. I don't right. want to be like everybody else. I don't want to be like a commoner to you, what people that don't really know you call you. I want to be what people closest to you call you. But yeah. she will say your name a lot, and she will talk about you to other people a lot. So if she if y'all have friends in common and all of a sudden you go around your friends without her and the friends be like, yo, we was just talking about you the other day. Such and such brought you up. Oh. If she because Shout what out, happens it up. What happens is she talks about you a lot to her friends and to other people. So other people are gonna pick up. Dang, Capo, every time I'm around Keisha, Keisha always bringing you up. She was just Why saying she liked this. Keisha? She like Why her know. name can't be Kelly or Jennifer. Becky. First the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> In my stories, there will be no Beckys, no Cindy's. 
shit like that. She said no Cindy's. Okay. Okay, Barbie. Shit, no. <laughs> Her motherfucking name is Keisha. What about okay? Jordan? What about Jordan? Jordan's. Neutral. I like that name. I like Jordan. Okay, so Jordan, Jordan was just talking about you. The what other about day. Brandy? Shut the fuck up. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that can go yeah, both ways. That can go both ways. Oh yeah. Hey, Brandy. Let me tell y'all. Shout out y'all, to Brandy. Ten reasons why y'all get on my motherfucking. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He interrupted me. All right, go ahead. Okay, so we. She says your name's name a lot, and she talks to other people about you a lot. So pick that up. If other people say that such and such is always bringing you up, she will talk mm. about you a lot. Man, I dropped the ball. Number six, she responds we to five? your text. We already did number because five. Because number five is something we already talked about, which was the look. Yeah. Well, Don't be counting my numbers. Don't be counting my I'm just trying numbers. to take notes. Oh, you taking notes. He, yo, he literally taking notes over here. I'm skipping around, okay? All right. All right. All right. She six. responds to your texts. And she wants to actually talk to your ass on the phone. If you ever get get with a girl and all she wants to do is text you, she's not into you. If you missed last week, girls that like you are going to want uh, to not, actually talk to you. That's not always true because I don't like talking on the phone a lot. I do a lot of texting. You do a lot of texting, no, but, but the girl will call you, and you may not talk to her, but she will try to call you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh oh. Like you may not want to talk. Capo, and you may not talk to her, but she's going to try to um, insinuate or produce voice calls. Okay, I got one for you. What if she's really into you, right? Mm-hmm. But y'all are doing a whole bunch of inboxing each other, like good morning, all of that. And she, Why aren't actually, y'all calling? Mm. Why aren't y'all exchanging numbers? At some point, she's probably waiting for you to ask for her number. Step it up. Because I, I know some women, and I'm kind of like this too in, in some ways. I'm not as aggressive as I seem. I know a lot of people meet me and they know my personality. They think I'm automatically aggressive. I am reserved when it comes to dating because I feel like I should be chased. And a lot of women are like that. So I can be in a situation where I really, really like a dude, but if he do not step to me, I will not be the one to step first. I disagree. With me? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. Why? You're from the old school. Okay. These new school women, they don't like for you to chase them. They like to be, they like to chase you. I'm going to you chase I don't know. When you chase them, when you chase them, it turns them off. You could be doing all the right things, you know what I'm saying, in pursuit. Mm -hmm. And all the right things in pursuit could turn them off. Let me tell you something, Capo, and tell me why I disagree. If they do not want you to chase them, they just don't like you like that. Every woman, listen, every woman cannot just not like. I see, that's what I wanted to talk about last week when you said that. What? There's a lot of things you was talking about last week that I disagree with. And the reason okay. why I disagree with it is because <clears throat> you, mm-hmm. Chevy, mm-hmm. Shara, y'all are good women. Y'all are going to y'all are going to speak from a good woman's perspective. Y'all we can aren't only out. speak from our own experience. Right. So y'all true. are a man out here dating these crazy women. So maybe you need right to or change. Wrong, CJ. Shout out to the crazy women. Maybe you need to change the keep, type of women you date. Y'all keep saying that, but you, it's like Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a flag on the play. Yeah, yeah, unnecessary maybe maybe, maybe women should should uh consider revamping the guys that they date exactly we're gonna get to that but when go we ahead. do I'm hot sorry. box go ahead go ahead okay. go ahead I'm sorry. okay but i am speaking from my perspective capo what you mentioned in that i can't speak for every woman i do feel like there's a lot of women out there like me but they most women like to be pursued they ain't in virginia Shout Most out women to do all like to the, be pursued. They ain't in virginia. the great women with great taste that actually have interest in me yeah and then a woman pays attention to things. They're going to want to know about your life. They're going to ask a lot of questions. Mm. Oh, you got a radio station? Well, what kind of radio station? What do you play? Mm. How do you play it? Mm. When what, when does your show come on? They're going to mm. actually listen to the show. Mm. They're going to take personal interest in what you do. Mm. Oh, you a CPA? Where's your office at? Can you do my taxes? It How do you do stalker. this? How you do that? Yeah, they could be a stalker. They could be it's a fine stalker. line between... Into you and stalking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my God. Your cousin. Moving on. She does things for you, like cooks for you. Ooh. 
um, takes care of things for you. Like buy you five hundred dollars shoes because she don't want your feet to hurt. Like, Shout out to my aunt. So she takes personal interest in things that would make your life more comfortable. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So she will do. She will even take care of business matters for you. Oh, I need to run this to a po- to the post office, but I ain't got nobody to do it. I miss my estranged friend. Shout out to her. I ain't saying her name. So she does personal things to you to make your li- for you to make your life easier, and it's not. And she's not going to receive any gain from it. So what about the and we can move on after this. Uh-huh. So what about the woman that does all of that? All of that, but y'all ain't on that level. She cooks for you. She don't well, she don't mind cooking for you. Uh-huh. She do little tasks for you here and there. What do you mean y'all not on that level? I'm confused about I, that part. When you say y'all not on that level, y'all friends or you don't know right. she's into Let's you. say she's that's your, right, the right. There we go. This we're friends. But you'll do the little task. You'll do you. You she don't wants, mind cooking. She wants an upgrade. You don't mind. Cooking. Just to clarify, the girl is doing these things for you. Don't mind doing them. Yes, if you ask. She likes you, Capo. She likes you a lot. But what if she? T- nothing. But what if she what? <laughs> nothing. Keep going. What if she told you that she um? What if I asked them? Hey, do you like me like that? Well, she's they probably it. gonna say um. Well, I thought about it. Why you like me? Yeah. Maybe we should go out sometime. Is that what she thinks? Uh huh. You will be my girlfriend. Mm. Who me? Yeah, you. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What? No, because you like hoes. <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Y'all stupid. All right. No, no. Because I'm t- the reason why I said that is because there are a lot of women that is real cool with dudes and. They are doing the little the little things like that. I'm telling you, they like you. If a woman is coming to your... Think about it. Think about it from a realistic perspective. You're telling me most women still work, right? Does she work? Does this girl work? Yes. Okay. She's coming from her job of eight hours of working and coming to cook for you. That usually no, takes no, two no. to I'm three not, hours of preparation I'm not saying whatever. she is, but she wouldn't mind if you ask. Even if you ask, whether you're requesting it or not, she's still taking out the time to do it. Nobody does that for people they don't like like that. I'm about to start asking all my female friends. Yo, Wh- whichever, you know what? That's a good test. Whichever Which- one would say, oh, um... Maybe I need to reevaluate some shit. Whichever, if y'all say, if let's say you did a test and you said you asked all your female friends right now, um, can you come over and cook for me Wednesday? I know I'm gonna have a long day and I haven't. I've been telling myself I'm gonna eat more home cooked meals. Do you mind coming over here cooking cooking Wednesday so the ones or that Thursday? Say yes, they the like ones that say yes and actually it's come do it. Like yo ass. Experiment in the building. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do? I'm gonna test that out tonight, and I'm gonna send somebody a text and see if they say yes. But what no I was gonna I'm ask you, Capo, is this person? Did she used to be? Did you used to be in a relationship with her? No. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, yeah, she liked you. Because if you, she used to be an ex or something, and she's still doing something, that's a whole different conversation. She's still doing stuff. That's a different week. We got to test on that next week. Okay. Oh. Non shout out to tired, my ex. Tired of schooling y'all, man. Tired of. It. All right, we gotta wrap this up. We do, cause y'all keep stopping me, asking me questions about y'all personal That's lives. That's what we supposed we to do. We ask the questions that the listeners might ask. That's but she does stuff. things for you. Number eight, she okay. makes herself available for you. Means she go out of her way to spend time with you or to do things that she needs. Number nine, she asks you about your relationship status or past relationships. And she's always constantly asking you, why did you and your ex break up? Are you single? Who are you dating now? If she's asking anything in relation to your relationship status, she's into you. Because she's trying to feel like, feel out if there are other women present in your life. That's why she's asking those questions. Um, Number 10. There is no woman present in my life, sweetheart. Whoever, if you're tuned in. (laughs) (laughs) Which one? <laughs> if you're tuned in. Shut the fuck up. Number 10. Do not talk to CJ and Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Number 10. She goes the extra mile for you for a special events in your life. For example, if it's your birthday, she finds a way to give you a gift, show up at your party. 
does little things if it's your radio station anniversary. She mem- remembers things and does little tasks where regular people would just congratulate you and keep it moving. Shout out to my strange friend again. You know. I'm so who is this friend that you did, CJ? Let's talk about that. I'm gonna have to do so. I'm gonna have to do some reevaluating. Huh? My tiger. Your tiger liked you, CJ. She liked you a lot. Because I'm tired of, I'm looking at your face right now. I see a lot of regret going on. I'm reading in your <laughs> affect. I'm reading in your affect right now. I see you just took some inhales and exhales as I'm giving examples. And I'm feeling like maybe you should send somebody a text and just say thank you. You know, the last text I sent her, I said, you're a dork. <laughs> what type of corny, nerdy shit is that? It is. Why would she do What do y'all joke like that? I'll say it. Do you like her, CJ? I got beef with her. No, I don't like you. Oh my God, he's blushing as he's dork. saying this. He's Do blushing. I know him? He's blushing as he's oh, okay. saying this. So I'm gonna talk about him. Talk about this off air with him, so we can get him where we need him to be at Dork. Okay, because that's gonna be your name right now. What? Cause y'all, y'all don't know when girls like y'all. It just, it's just so obvious to me, and I feel like I'm just I need to share here. To I'm gonna say, I'm just, I'm gonna right just now. say this on a serious note. I'm mm-hmm. on a serious note. This is very serious. Mm-hmm. It's hard to, and I'm and put this way, all the tips you gave, dope. Okay. But you can attest a, 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 a to everything that you say it, mm-hmm. and still be wrong because women give you mixed signals i think that there y'all have to admit that maybe 90 percent of the time y'all know that certain girls are into y'all but y'all are not into them no but but what if you but okay but what if you notice okay but what if you do know my friend zone but what if you do notice that they're into you and then you you jump out there and you start saying something to them then they tell you well i don't know i don't i don't don't know if this will work you got to see if all what? 10 signs are there. It got to be at least th- five out of the 10 there before I, I would question. tell you to jump This one particular person I'm talking about is like seven. I have a serious question. She... Let's keep going. Let's okay. Keep going. I'm I... sorry. All right. So what if you got a friend? Uh-huh. Like her as a friend. Uh-huh. And she's giving you these energies from this sign that she likes you. Okay. And then like you, she's like, you know what? Somebody got to pursue me. Somebody got to chase me. Uh-huh. And it's like she's putting pressure on you to chase her, even though you like you ain't trying to chase her. Why you can't chase? Men are built to be pursuers. What right? if that's not who you trying to chase? Oh, you don't want her. <clears throat> I guess you could say that. Oh, then that's what you need to say. Shit, you just gave me two, three. But why sentences. why should I have You don't want her? Okay, let's let's say Do that's you the, want her or not? Let's say that's the assumption. I don't want an assumption. Do you want her or not? It. Do no. you want her? Yes. For the sake of or this no? conversation, do you no. really want her, baby? And let me know. Cause if, if you, you really, really like me, me, I suggest you tell, tell me so. I ain't got time for silly game. That ain't even why I came. Cause I may be the kind of girl you like. Now, what the fuck do you want? Your friendship. <laughs> yeah, we old as hell, man. We gotta wrap this up. Okay, I'm gonna talk to them off air, but guys, I'm telling you, if you get five out of my list. Holler, shoot your shot. You know what I'm saying? The worst thing is you miss it and you move on and you're not wasting your time anymore. But at least you tried. Mm. Yeah. If I get shot down, it's Dutch forever. Y'all used to it. Hey, let's get into this Chris feed. <laughs> the name of this song is called Something. When we come back. I got them tools. <laughs> D- I ain't D-Walt, but I got them tools. Shout out to D-Walt. We miss you. The TOL radio show. Cheese Town Radio, R&B, dot. On lock. Yeah. Cheese Town Radio, R&B. Crispy. Yeah, let me talk to you real quick. I came all the way to New Jersey for this. Pretty brown eyes with the nice eyes When you throw it back and make me realize I don't want nobody but you, girl Hypnotize, girl, you make me feel high Let me do the motion, I can make you feel right I 
This is what's up. This is Norfolk CPA. Guess what? I am not D Walt, but for this week, I got them tools. <laughs> and what I want to talk about, you said you ain't do it right. What do you mean? Because you, right? right? you know, D Walt be like, he's not D Walt. But what, not, what, what is her? What did she say? She's like, I'm D Walt and I got those tools. No, but she asked us to do something too. Oh, oh tell everybody. Me. Everybody, saying what's the tool? What's, what's the, the tools? tools? Well, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, the tool for the day is I know y'all seen those commercials, and this is my education. I know y'all seen those commercials. If you owe the IRS thousands of dollars, you can get away with pennies on a dollar. Call this hotline. So, basically, this public service announcement, education moment, is when you're getting these harassing letters from the IRS, the happy grams that say, hey, we want to lean you, levy you. Levy, for those that don't know what that means, that means we're going to go take your stuff. We're going to seize your assets, go into your bank account, go take your cars, whatever you got in your name. We're going to take it because we're the IRS and we're big and bad. So if you're getting these notices, how do you stop this levy action can you get the irs off of your back so you know in my business what i do is i help people pay less to the irs get the irs off your back so i want to 
give you some of the options that are available to you. Capo said, I got to do this in 10 minutes, so I got like eight more minutes, but I'm going to get through it. So, so how do you get the IRS off of your back? There's a couple of things you need to know. One, stop ignoring the letters. Don't just put the letter under your microwave. <laughs> I didn't even know I did this. <laughs> you know. I mean, okay. like, because I be like, mm, I know it's scary. I ain't even got you, nothing in my name. I know it's scary. You get the certified letter from the IRS, and you're like, man, if I just ignore it, it'll go away. No, it's not gonna go away. It's just I'm gonna get worse. I'm not scared because I be like, nothing from nothing, leave nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> until, it's, okay. Until they start and starting to take with nothing you have out of your bank account. <laughs> oh You're like, God. wait a minute, what happened to my money? Oh, I have a heart attack. Right, so it <laughs> happens. So stop ignoring the <clears throat> messages and seek help. You know, if you can't do it yourself, and most likely you're not trained to do it, Should seek we help. Call these companies? No, don't call those companies. Call Norfolk CPA or call somebody that is experienced in that type of uh, IRS problem solving. So usually it's going to be a CPA that deals with IRS communications or an enrolled agent, an EA enrolled agent. Or you can go to the American Society of Tax Problem Solvers and get a recommendation from them. But just call me, Norfolk CPA, IG, Norfolk underscore CPA. Anyways, so get help. The next thing is, before you do any type of agreements with the IRS, you need to have all your tax returns done. They're not going to do anything with you until you get your tax returns done. So, and you may say, oh my goodness, I didn't move my house, I don't have my records. How am I going to get all these records? Well, I'll give you the tool. You can go to the IRS and you can pull your account transcripts, you can pull wage and income transcripts. And what those are is the wage and income transcripts. They'll show you any income that is reported to your social security number, your EIN number. So they know what people have reported attached to your social. So you start from there. EIN numbers are people that own businesses. Yep. So, for the business owners, you got your EINs. For the individuals, you got your social security number. Get your wage and income tax transcript. But if you're dealing with a person like myself, a professional that knows how to do this, they're going to get this anyway. Yeah. You'll have to do a power of attorney with them, and then they can pull this information for you. So, you need to pull your transcripts, get your tax returns turned in. Even if you don't have the money and you know you're going to owe a lot of money, get the tax returns turned in. All right, so now you got your tax returns turned in. Now you are in the position how I'm doing on time. Now you're in a position that you can start to negotiate with the IRS, right? So your tax returns are turned in. Now you can start the negotiation process or the resolution process, as we can say. And there are a couple of options that are afforded to you. You can get on an installment agreement. Typically, whatever amount that you owe to IRS, if it isn't over a certain dollar threshold, you can pay it off over 72 months. So that's option number one. If your financial situation is so that you can't afford to make whatever that payment, that total amount due, divided by 72 months, then you can turn in a financial statement to the IRS to say, hey, here's all my expenses plus my allowable expenses. This is really how much I can pay. So then you can get on what they call a partial pay agreement. So you're paying a little bit less than what that total amount, less than 72 months are. Right, so right. You can do the regular installment agreement. You can do a partial pay installment agreement. The other thing is, let's say your financial statement just looks like Horrible, horrendous. Horrible, and you horrendous. can't even afford to pay anything. Right. Then the IRS, and I just helped the client get on this status today, the IRS will put you on a status that is called currently not collectible. That just means, hey, we're not going to mess with you for a little while. Because you we ain't know got no money. You ain't got no money right now. Right now. So we're going to leave you alone for a little while. We're going to file some liens on you, so it's going to be on your credit report possibly. But we're going to check back. So maybe in a year, we're going to check back. If your financial situation changes and you got more money, more assets, no, you got to pay up. But if it doesn't, we'll give you another year to breathe. 
but you still owe us. So you can get on currently not collectible status. The other thing that you can do is with a lot of these, you know, when you see these 800 number commercials on TV, you can do what is called an offer and compromise. And that is basically a tax settlement where you are paying less than a full dollar on every dollar that's owed to the IRS. So if you have to fill out financial statements, they're going to take an inventory of all your income, your expenses, the equity you have, and all your assets. And in some cases, you can literally pay pennies on a dollar if you don't have a lot going on. If you lost a job, you got foreclosed, and you owe the IRS a lot of money. Based on your debt-to-income ratio, if it's worse, that's a great time to probably evaluate doing an offer and compromise. So, my thing is, most people I know avoid taxes. Yep. Why do people avoid doing their taxes in the first place? Because it's scary and the IRS makes examples out of people, especially the celebrities. But, you know what? We're going to come back on another segment. And I'm going to dive into this deeper. So, I want everybody to email questions the cheese sound radio and then we're gonna tackle this so that is your tool for the day how to get the irs the steps needed to get the irs back up off me off of your back we gotta get the abc boys off you get the abc the alphabet boys off of you shout out to d walk we got them tools i learned yeah. it from you yeah that was the tools y'all when we come back we hot boxing shout out to chef hot boxing hot boxing I got, I got a good a, one. I got a good one. I got a good one. From y'all today. Oh, Lord. Well, I think I have a good one, too, that I would like to share. <laughs> Let's get into this Lecree. Not Lecree. Miss Lecree. The name of the song is called Go Crazy. She oh. sound Radio R&B. That do Radio R&B. I'm recording. I'm recording.
We are back. I am DJ Red Carpet Capo. Norfolk CPA. What's up, y'all? It's Lady Latte, and I'm in the building. Hey, look, I'm going to attempt. We're going to attempt. Call sure, hey? Yeah, we're going to attempt call that. D-walk. Call D-walk. Let's see how this works, y'all. Let's see how this works. D-walk. Let's see how this works. Let me see. Share a Wait, wait, wait. We're going to attempt to call D-walk. Don't y'all hate when people call you and they be smacking? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoever's smacking you. Look, he was about to say her name and everything. Who's wrong with her name? On air? What? Do you walk? No, he was about to say her number. Oh. No, you can't do that. I caught myself. Uh oh. Uh oh, I hear something. Y'all hear something? Ring, ring. Radio, G Walk with the tooth. Speaking, how can I help you? How? What up, D Walk? Hey, girl. What up? What up? Hey, what's up? Can you hear us? Yeah, there's something in the background. Though. Oh, that's me smacking. Yeah, she's smacking. We hear you pretty good. I told you, I'm still working on the. I told you, I'm still working on the phone system, y'all. Oh, we should have did this. She could have did her two times. I'm playing. I'm. I'm still working out the kinks. I'm still working out the kinks. What you say? Yeah. Is this a live? Is this the call in live button? Yes. On the web. Cause I tried to hit it earlier to call in y'all, but it didn't do anything, and I couldn't see y'all either. Well, well we're working. We're working it. We working the video thing out. Facebook. Um. Oh, okay. Facebook kicked us off. Why? I don't know. I don't think that. I think they. We um, in Facebook jail. Yeah, we in Facebook jail. That's what it is. Why are we in Facebook jail? What y'all do? Cussing. First of all, you was here too. <laughs> no, like, I. Y'all, you, know? <laughs> you was here last week. I just talked about peace and love. Why would they put me in Facebook jail? <laughs> y'all. First of all, you be cursing, Deshara. You curse. I don't you curse the wall. In your toolbox is some curse words Look in your toolbox. Tell me how many cuss words I see. Oh, you don't want to talk about the church show. You try to be a pretty a cursing preacher. Your toolbox got cursed words in it, okay? No, I feel like I feel like we're missing somebody. Where's um Chevy? We're missing two people, yeah. actually. We're yeah. hot boxing for Chevy. I'm hot boxing you yeah. and Chevy, actually. Well actually you and hot box right now. We hot boxing right now. I'm hot boxing you and Chevy because y'all left me here as the only female. Which are we online couple? right now? Are we live right now? Yeah, we are you're live on the radio. And right now, you're, you're not even Why you're ignoring me. Hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, we hot box. Oh yeah, we hot boxing. I'm hot. I'm hot right okay. now. <laughs> I'm hot right now at the show. Okay, what? I'm hot at you. Okay, what? First of all, you and, Sh- you and Chevy left me hanging today. Right? Okay. And they in here talking about okay. black women. Negatively, in a negative sense, that is not true. Say that we have attitudes. I didn't say that, and that's why they taught the white girls. I didn't say that. We definitely didn't say that. D. Lies. Um. First off, that's not why they think that's why, but that's not why they taught the white girls. They need some help. I can. I can change that. We can change that around. You you won't hear with the toolbox to help them. 
to rebuild their mind. They need their brains tapped on. They need their mind rebuilt. But no, they were talking about that. Then they were talking about how women don't know what they want. They don't. And then they were talking about how... What it, it's not the women that y'all pick. It's women... Um, oh, they were talking about women from high school. They used to be the shit in high school, but now they fat. Yeah. <laughs> and how dare they come try to holler at them now that they fat. <laughs> See, what happened was, I keep it real when I say it. They try to say it all nice and pretty and shit. But basically, they was talking about the blocks that they used to go to high school with. Yeah, yeah. And they're trying to call them out. I I did not participate in any of these things. (laughs) Oh, he he took it back to second grade. He talking about a girl he liked in second grade. He saw her. Talking about she liked them, too. She didn't even like ice cream in second grade. She don't know what she liked in second grade. (laughs) And Sean, yeah. Capo just yeah. Capo. I'm sorry, Capo straight up this some girl and call her a big block. Roll the tape back. No. But see, I don't think that's right because guys don't like women looking up to them. If you approach a woman and you get up enough nerve to approach a woman and say something, you don't want her to look at you like, eh, uh, uh-uh, uh, nah. You don't want people to treat you like that, but then you. You treat somebody else like that, and that's not right. Well, they feel like they have the right to do that because these women diss them in school. So hold on, wait a minute. I'm confused. Is are you? Uh, um, the laws don't make a right. So wait a minute. I'm confused. Um, Deshera, are you hot boxing right now? I'm hot boxing, and she responding to my hot box. You responded. Yeah. You responded to her hot box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Because I'm tired of y'all We're coming for box. these young ladies. I'm tired of this bullshit. We are hot boxing together. People hot box together all the time. Okay, so are you finished yeah, hot boxing? Because I got a hot box. I'm done, but I just want to end with just because they ain't like y'all ass in high school don't mean that they can't try to holler now. Maybe they got their shit together. Maybe they got their mind together. Maybe you look cuter now and shit. With jobs makes niggas cuter. Is that what that is? Jobs, and stability. A lot of people, that, a lot of dudes that was whack in high school are cool now. So maybe to them. You're cool, cool now. Maybe they, they, they didn't want to talk to And their ex boyfriends in. about that? From school is crackheads. That's the end. I'm tired. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, homecoming queen, the crack thing. I was the crack queen. People. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so look. I don't even think you should. Okay, what's your hot box? You don't think what? Go ahead, say it. Well, I don't think we should judge people based on high school. Like, that is so irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Like, you do some old past stuff to be petty. Like, who cares? Do not judge a book by its cover. Mm. What if she is a little big? You know mm. what I mean? But if she has the innate qualities that she want to take care of you, cook for you, clean for you, mm. to you, empower you, then why don't you go to the gym with her? It's not a big deal. Like, those things like that can be changed. It's like when a woman that want to talk to a man because he dressed whack. Like, I learned dress a dude so quick like you're gonna not talk to a dude because he don't know how to dress D-Walt it's very superficial D-Walt we talking about yeah. D-Walt we talking about these women that was dissing us in high school and about- now they're big blocks and now they saying oh I always like you that's what we was talking well, about. Now, that was a lie. Now, D-Walk, I had to agree with them on that. That was a lie. <laughs> that was a lie. They did not always like That's that. not what happened. That's not what happened. No. What happened was... I was a virgin for 30 years. <laughs> what happened was they didn't like them in high school. They didn't. But now they, mm. they, they got cute. Because some men get cute after they mature. After they I'm do. on Wall Street, yeah. you want to show me some attention. And, exactly. After you, you, after, you, after, after, you become, no. after you become Norfolk CPA. No. Now, no, and, then, and, and I'm not going to lie. Okay. You know, a nigga you that guys, can pay a bill is sexy. That shit is sexy. Twisted. He can pay the light bill. Shit. Y'all got it twisted. <laughs> people, y'all think that people, um, young people can make decisions like a like an older person women are conditioned as to what to like initially it's like um y'all it's like a, a a large echo so it's a little bit distracting but women especially when you're younger you're conditioned to what to like by what you see on tv and things of that nature so like thugs and these different type of images 
when you get older, you get more wisdom, and you're going to like a different type of guy a lot of times like in high school. Mm -hmm. And what you're saying is, oh, lady, because you're maturing, because you're not looking at the market value anymore, you're looking at intrinsic value, and now you find me valuable. I don't want you that because you didn't find me valuable back in the day. That is exactly. Crazy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's what, exactly. That's all I'm saying. She said that's wrong. That's all I'm saying, d -Walk. She's saying it's wrong. That's all I'm saying, D-Walt. That's all I'm saying. We on the same page. We on the same page. There's still some misguided yeah. anger, D-Walt, that they're holding we from still, high We still, we on the same page. There's some misguided anger that they still Wait a minute, wait, D-Walt, D-Walt, D-Walt. You don't hear the mm -hmm. echo no more, right? No, I don't hear it. Thank you. You're at a bomb.com. Exactly. I'm the, I'm the, I'm, okay. I'm the engineer for That's it. what the block trying to tell you. It is a, it's very light and it's delayed. It's nowhere near what it was at first. Say that again. So yeah, it's better. I can do this. I can do this. You can do this. Tell me about your hot box. Yeah. Okay, my hot box, hot box. My hot box is on Popeyes. What is it? With? Stop it's eating that Popeyes. Popeyes. I know we already have a Popeyes. You moment. and Chevy. Stop eating that Popeyes. Stop. No, I got. Yeah, listen. There are other chicken fries. franchises. There's there other go. foods besides chicken. Okay, listen. Let me tell y'all what happened to me. So I go to Popeyes, right? And I decide. I say, you know what? I said. They always running out of chicken. So I'm going to order something a little bit different. So they have the boneless wing on sale for $5. Still chicken. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so look, so look, I said I'm going to get the boneless wings for $5. Cool. Got it. Right? So I go up to D, D Walt. You listening? I'm listening. Okay, so. $5 boneless wings. Right. So I get. So I go and get my, I, I order my boneless wings or whatever. And the girl says, we out. We ran out. So I say, hold up. Hold up. How y'all ran out of boneless wings? I said, I told her, I said, I, I, this time I'm sick of it. If they don't have whole chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right? D-Walk, D-Walk, at this point I'm sick of it. So Can I, I say something? Wait, 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 wait. At this point I'm sick of it. Mm -hmm. So I tell her, I said, mm -hmm. ma'am. With all due respect, every time I come here, y'all either don't have no spicy chicken, y'all don't have no wings, y'all don't have this. I said, y'all just, I said, one time I came here, butter, no jelly. look, I told her, I said, one time I came here, y'all didn't even have no chicken at all. What is going on? You know what she says? They what? Need, they need to stop running these fucking specials because every time they run these fucking specials, that's how we run out of chicken. And then she's talking to me like this through the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a raise. Give her a raise. Let me tell you why. First of all, she's identified the problem. She's identified the problem. She's telling you, the customer, why they don't have no damn chicken. I am crying right now. Let me tell you something. Yo, she snapped on me, yo. I was like. You are where you eat. You know how they say you are what you eat? No, you are where you eat. Until you get your ghetto mentality out of your mind that you always got to go to ghetto-ass Popeyes. So that's my hot box. This is the yeah. level that you are at right now. That's no, my... I, think, I think that that is insanity. When you keep doing the same thing and you expect <laughs> different you. results, that is the definition of insanity. Why don't... Why don't... right now. Why that got to be insanity? Yes, I like Popeyes it chicken. Is. It, it, couple, they don't have because whole chicken, the right? They don't have whole that's pieces... The they don't have, she's correct. They don't have whole pieces of, of regular chicken. So you're going to go there and order another level of I mean, chicken. I he's trying to order something different. He's trying to do something I tried. different. Fancy I tried. chicken. They don't even got he regular chicken. Now you want chicken without the bone? You want fancy shit, right? And you think we got that? Let I me tell you what the motherfucking problem is. These damn specials. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, I just saw a Facebook post today. They said the boneless chicken a lot of times is rat meat. That's what and I said. You're supposed to get that boneless chicken. I said that what it's, it's called it's chicken. First of all, if it ain't got a bone in it, it don't look like a wing, I'm not eating it. I still only eat shrimp from Chinese places. That's just me. Look, y'all need to eat any type of meat from Chinese chicken. places. 
Them KFC chickens don't even be having no head, yo. I don't eat KFC chicken. You know what? They, that's why they call it KFC, because they can't say fried chicken no more, because it ain't chicken. <laughs> Look it up. Them <laughs> chickens look crazy. They like that. But you know they, what? They I bet it. you they always had KFC. <laughs> if you want to call it chicken, they got that's KFC That's why they had to change their name to KFC. They ain't running out that's my That's why they KFC. They ain't Kentucky fried chicken no more. Because you know why? <laughs> they don't you got no what? damn specials. Yes, that's why. You know what? You know what, Capo? Yeah. Get you one of them big blocks. Because you know how they got big? By mm. cooking fried chicken. <laughs> you wouldn't have to go to Popeye's. You could go home. You know how Shout out to all the big blocks. You know how to chicken. You know how to biscuit. She gonna have the jelly. She gonna have the salad. Hey, you know and what? Deshara, you know, it's gonna be good that. and hot too. It's gonna be good. Yep. And ready going for you. That's how you and like. And she ain't gonna never run out of motherfucking chicken. All right, no. CJ. She gonna never run out of no chicken. All right, this CJ. What's your hot box? Cause we all um, gotta wrap this up. That is hilarious. My hot box. What? Hot box? Nah. Oh, the girl. I don't got a hot box, man. Okay. What's the hot box? I, Come we, back to. Ain't nobody else in here but me, you, and D. I mean, E. I, so I have another one. Hmm. Hey, What's my hot box? My other hot box was that they came at black women for being angry all the time when most of the time we're taught to oh, not. Oh, Lord. He about to get D. Walk started. To, um, treat black men from when we're little because we're not used to seeing them around in most households. All right, D-Walk, when you, when, you, when you respond to this, you have approximately two and a half minutes. Because they say it. That's why they date. Okay, go ahead. That's why they date outside of their race. I never said that. I never said that either. But they brought up Shirley. What's Listen, Sherry Shepard. Sherry Shepard. Her Shepherd. son why stated they? to her. Capo said that there was a story that where she did an interview and she said her son came home, long story short, and said that he liked white girls because black girls are mean. Right, exactly. And he said that he could relate to her son, Capo. Wait, wait, well, let me stop. You wait, because she missing things, which is going to mess it up. Because we got time for it. Then we do. We got a few seconds. He said that... They're he, mean to him. He said that he thinks he likes white girls because the white girls are nicer to him than the, the black, black girls. girls. The black girls are mean to him. And he said he get and they tell him to leave him leave them alone and get out their face. So he said this is what he's he's sick of. He's sick of it because now when he leave them alone, don't talk to him, he talks to the white girls. Now they messing with him. Why you got to talk to the white girls? And he, he's sick of it. And Capo's saying that he can relate to him. From a childhood standpoint, yeah, sick of it that black girls can be mean, and I stated sick that sometimes good. black little black girls don't know how to treat men because they're not seeing their a men in their household being treated well because they don't see them. Period. So that could be an onset thing from slavery that has been passed down that's taught us that. Okay, but now, I want you to get in their ass because I said that if D. Walt was here. Y'all wouldn't say that shit. Hey, That's D-Wall, you have two minutes. Go ahead. <laughs> well, actually, um, I got me and my husband here because I want to because I know he talks about this. I think you guys might actually be one. I think Erica's right. I know for a fact that we're not used to having black men in the home. And we don't, no, because we're not used to having <laughs> That's a baby. And um, I don't really know. Yeah, she said, hey, y'all. Okay, um, we don't treat men, you know, really. So, but I, I have seen my cousin who, he, he went to MIT and he tried to get in a black dorm. They wouldn't let him in a black dorm. You know, the black girls wouldn't talk to him because he seemed like he was kind of white. And you know what? He, like, makes six figures and he's married to a white lady and he's having a baby with a white lady now because the, the black girls wasn't giving him no place, you know? And, um, you know, my husband says that a lot. Like, black women a lot of times don't know how to treat men and that's why men go to other races. But I would say, you know, the power of the subconscious like I share on my time, share, share with you know, my friends that there's power in balance. You have dominant people, you have melanin successive people. And so for me and my family, we're always going to choose 
you know, we're gonna. I want. I want us to always to keep the melanin dominant. But I think that if you want a black woman and you want to be married, I think you should write down the qualities of the woman that you want. You put it somewhere that you see it. You know, like on a bathroom window or something like that. And eventually, you will just have that. I think that we don't harness our power enough. If you want a black woman, you can have a black woman. You can. So I, I think both of you are right. Sure. I think both of y'all are Thank you, D. Yeah. I'm going I'm to play devil's advocate real quick, couple. It's got to be real up. quick because we got to we gotta get out of here. We got to go. You have a son. What would you do if your son brought a white girl home? My son got an invitation for a white girl for a birthday party this weekend. That white girl waited for him to get to martial arts so that he can give it to him. She won't in martial arts class that day. But she wants to wait and hand it to him. And I, that little girl, when I wasn't at martial arts, my daddy said she put her forehead on my son's forehead. <laughs> 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 No, wait a minute, time out, because I'm visualizing it, and I can see you saying, she's trying to get in my son's brain. Right. <laughs> therefore, therefore, and I see their interactions, and I always thought that I was the type of person, like, don't bring no white girl home, don't bring no white girl home. But I think if I were to see the fellow so innocently, and it was really, you know, love or something like that, I, I think if I was saying it like, he thinks about, about melanin dominant. So I want her to be like, hey, do I want a melanin dominant or do I want a melanin dominant? She's cool, but I'm going to find me a melanin dominant. And if for some reason he doesn't, you know, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm trying to focus on my... We but lose. yeah, so I... Oh, I really shocked myself by seeing him take him to the little girl birthday party. You, know? you let him go to the party? I missed that. Did you let him go? Well, it's this Saturday. So we got oh, are you going to let him go? Yeah, I'm going to let him go. It's at the March start. Oh. So, you know, it's going to be cool. And then, you know, his martial arts instructor is a black man. He's cool, real cool. And he got a white wife, too. So, I don't know. I'm I don't know. You know, you can't. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't want my child. I don't want my child to, to marry a white person. But it's just I'm not gonna just them. They do. Yeah. You know. You know. People be like, a part of my. I wouldn't do that. You know. <laughs> but what do you do? But I'm definitely from the you know, like, black power in my home. So. Yeah. That's okay. what's up. Unfortunately, our time is up, y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. Thank you. Yeah. But no, why y'all seem college. so disappointed? I thought she was gonna talk. Oh. Again. I thought she was saying something. What are you saying? Oh something? y'all, thank you. Tommy, I'm gonna listen to the playback. Every, I'm glad I have to take part in our hot box. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see how this party turn out. I know next week. You know what I'm saying? But nope. I'm gonna have to let that turn up. Don't get all close up. Like that, like boundaries. <laughs> boundaries. <laughs> no doubt, D Walk. So we're gonna see you Saturday, right? Yeah, it's your birthday party. What time is it? Seven. Sorry. Right. Seven time. I gotta make my arrangement. So yeah. You're one of my best friends there, so. Thank you, D-Walt. I love you. All right, D-Walt. We got to get out of here. All right. Peace out. Y'all have a night. All right. All right. We're back. And um, our time is up. So we got to end the broadcast. Um, Appreciate y'all tuning in to the TOL radio show tonight. You can um find me. On all social media outlets at DJ Red Carpet Capo. Check out my website, www.djredcarpetcapo.com. And I have um, an app. I have DJ Red Carpet Capo app. Soon Apple and Android finish um, doing what they do. The app will be live in um, the uh, App Store and Google Play so awesome. Store. Also, um, tomorrow, well, tonight, tonight 
tomorrow make sure y'all check out my website once again it's www.djredcarpetcapital.com i'm going to be releasing i'm so happy about this i'm going to be releasing um my all janet jackson mix it's called uh still in control that's the name of my um janet jackson mix and it's only going to be on my website so make sure you log on www.djredcarpetcapo.com this is Norfolk CPA and you can follow me on Instagram at all right y'all today's show has come to the end um this is erica latte you can follow me on all social media platforms at erica latte and that's erica with the c and a k and you can also Google Life with Latte, spelled just like how it sounds. Remember to tune in each and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for the TOL show. We are thinking out loud, baby. Yes. We're going to leave y'all with my peoples, my homeboy, my family. Another one by Mr. Joshua Hickson Jr. And we will have Josh on the show next month. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And I think he will be performing we're trying to get him to perform live this Saturday at um, CJ's birthday party. So keep your finger, fingers crossed on that one. We out of here. Peace out. Cheese Town Radio R&B. Dot online. Radio R&B. She is a Michael Angelo. Leonardo da Vinci no. Could have ever painted anything As beautiful as you Not on both sides no. Even Beethoven no. Could have ever You're up real high, then my baby kissed the sky. My queen, you are. Oh, you're so incredible. Like nothing I've ever seen before. I'm a fan, and you're the star. My queen, you are. Put you on a pedestal. Can I rest one rock him come and tell him quality? Most deaf, Niles a J, Jada or Styles P. They could never write a verse iller than the love I have for you. No MC iller than you and me. You can name Premier, Guru, Life Wonder, High Tech, even Just Blaze. Timberland, Pharrell, even Kanye. They could never make a beat over than for you, put you on a pedestal, hold you up real high, let my baby kiss the sky, my queen you are, who you so incredible, like nothing I've ever seen before, I'm a fan and you're the star, my queen you are, put you on a Status on social media All that petty shit don't mean a damn thing to us Talking old school love That old school love Ain't no love in season Our search for love is over We've reached your place Your pedestal Hold you up real high Let my baby kiss the sky My queen you are so incredible, like nothing I've ever seen before. I'm a fan, and you're the star. My queen, you are, but you all the best. Hold you up real high. My queen, you are, like nothing I've ever seen before. She's a master
Yeah.